swatch the new bricks for and shit. All right, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to a special edition of After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa. We usually go live on Fridays. I mean, excuse me, on Mondays and Wednesdays. Today is a special edition, which is Friday. Thank you all for tuning in already. Those of you who are tuned in on Instagram, I know you can't share, but tag as many artists as you can. Let them know. They can get their interviews. They can come and talk their shit, like X the Hustler say, at Real Talk 100 Radio after Dog from Malcolm Lisa. They can also get another interview with Ask the Hustler during the week. Um, we have a special edition tonight, like I already said. Welcome to the After Dog from Malcolm and Lisa show. We specialize in uh, we specialize in and promoting underground music artists all over the world. We specialize in supporting small businesses in the greater surrounding areas, Greater Houston and surrounding areas tonight. It's all about the underground for the next artist, for the next hour. I don't know why I'm getting my tongue tied. Lisa, I think you were supposed to kick this show off. My tongue keep getting in the way. Why don't you kick this damn thing off right quick? You the DJ tonight, huh? All right. My tongue gonna get out the way in a minute, y'all. Y'all be y'all be patient with me. I think she hit me in it overnight or something. I think she hit me in my tongue overnight or something more fast. I'm gonna get it together here in a minute, man. Um, tonight it's all about the underground. It's all about the Drip Squad. Drip Squad. We're going to yeah. do a lot of talking about them. Drip Squad has been making a lot of moves in and around Houston area. They are about 10 deep, I think, if I recall correctly. 10 to 12 deep. Every place they show up, they deep. Tonight, we got Mofias Mofo in the motherfucking building. What's up, baby? Mofias Mofo in the house, you know what I'm saying? He's going to let y'all know a little bit more about the Drip Squad. He's going to let you know about his movement. He's also going to let you know about his upcoming shows where y'all might want to check out the Drip Squad and himself perform. Mo Fives, Mo Fo, what's happening, man? Man, what's up, man? My man, I appreciate you having me, man. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. Hey, man, this is what we do, man. This is what we love to do. We love to support the underground, man. Whatever we're doing, that's what we love to do, man, the most. Um, we love supporting small businesses, man. We love, you know what, because we the underdog, man. Right, right, right. We the right, underdog, right. man, and a lot of times the underdog gets overlooked, man. Right, right, right. Everybody right. wants to spend their money with polo. Right, right, right. But they don't want to just go get the regular shirt. Right, it's right. It's the same damn shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. ain't got polo on it, so they ain't going to wear it. You understand? And don't get me wrong, I love polo. Right, I love right. polo, man, but... You get you get what I'm saying. I got you. I if got it you. ain't got Nike and swoops on the side, they don't want to wear it. Yeah, man, that's why I say drip squad it out. You know drip what I'm squad saying? it out. Don't worry about nothing that shit. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But it shouldn't be that way, man, when it comes to small businesses. Right. You got some small businesses that put in just as good a quality right, right, as right, the right. Fortune 500 companies. Right. And in the same breath, you got right. some artists in the underground that's putting out better material yeah, right. than some of these so-called mainstream artists, you right, feel right, me? Right, right. And I get tired of it, man, but like I told you off air already, it's all about the bread, man. Yeah. It's all about who's spending the most bread. Right. That's who's going to blow up. I'm, right. I'm going to get your opinion on that hey, right quick. You, What's your opinion you, on you that? You know, uh, I like this, man. Like, it, you right, it's about the bread. It really is about the bread. But in Houston, I, I, I basically think we need more support, man. No, no, that's, that why, work too. that's why that's why I go and support artists when they ask me, man, I go and support them, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that 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 this is what that's what the drip squad all about. We all about a movement. We don't care, we don't care where you're from or you know where you been. We just we just trying to we just trying to like, you know, make a movement where artists like us that are underground and artists that are man, I met some awesome artists, man. People that got some Man, I talent you wouldn't even ima imagine. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, where are these people been? You know what I'm saying? People that's on my squad, man, we got they got some talent. Like, wait, wait, why you ain't blew up yet? You know what I'm saying? Right. And basically because what you said really ain't got a lot of paper. You know what I'm saying? And Houston, Houston is a city, man. I, I love my city. You know, I'm from actually from Baytown. You know what I'm saying? That's my really for shots out to the bay, man. You know what I'm saying? Dirty bay, baby. But um, you know, I'm used to connected. I always been in Houston. And and what I've been seeing is like a lot of Houston people, man, they, they kind of like, they don't support their artists like they do. Man, you go to Atlanta, all these different places, man, they supporting their artists, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like that it need to be more support. That's what the Drift Squad is all about, man. We trying, we trying to support, we trying to make a movement. We not all just about music either, man. You know, we want to we, we do some stuff like, 
you know, charity work, you know what I'm saying? Aut kids that have autism, people that suffer from depression. There you, go. you know, we want to do there other stuff. That's what I'm saying. Drip support sport. the community. Yeah, drip support. And that and really Michael, that really how you get support sponsors and stuff like that. Yes. Because a lot of these art, Houston artists, bro, they all about self. All about themselves. I forget I, I I'm not gonna hold my bite my tongue, but they all about self. And when you all about self, Bro, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get the love and support that you're supposed to really get. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not gonna get the love and support that you're supposed to get, man. You know what I mean? So because, because the community feels like this. If it's all about you, why we supposed to give a goddamn? Yeah, so why you? we supposed to help you? You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I try my best, man, to go see up. Even when I ain't performing, man, I go see other artists. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like. If you show a person that you show other artists, man, I don't even have to know you, bro. But you show other artists that you care about right. what they doing, right? And the same talent that you got, man, that make them feel good, and that make them want to, that make them want to, that make them want to do more. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And I'm all about seeing people do more, man. I'm all about seeing, man. I just watch people blossom. You know, just being, just being on the scene, cause anybody can tell you, most folks pretty much everywhere. Man, I got shows all week. All week. All week. Stretched out. I'm talking about all tonight, night, all across Asia time. Saturday and Sunday. All right. You know what I'm saying? Because I go show people support. Now they call me, Malcolm. All right. Hey, man, you, you, you want to come do a show? You want to play? And then let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, because I've been hearing a lot about this, bro. Like, I've been hearing a lot about these artists talking about these, uh, talking about, and I'm going to go air it out, talking about these, uh, these, these, these promoters, man, right? and, and talking about these people who be booking these shows. Let me tell you something, man. Right? I love my talent. I love what I do. Yeah. Okay? Now, don't get me wrong, they got probably some janky promoters out there. They probably do. But this is what I feel like I'm doing, bro. If I go pay $25, I'm going to pay $15 or $20 to go do my music. At first, I was like, hey, man, they need to be paying me right now. Hey, bro, I got shows that's getting ready to come up. I'm going to get paid for these shows. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm paying to go do $25, bro, $25 ain't nothing to me, man. Right. $25, $50, $75, that ain't nothing. Because what I'm doing is how I look at it, bro. I'm investing in my talent. Exactly. Exactly. Am I not every, investing in my talent, Ms. Lisa? And every artist needs to do that. But here's the thing that a lot of artists don't understand because a lot of artists don't understand the business concept. Right, right, right. They understand the music concept. Right, right, right. But they don't realize a promoter has to pay the DJ, has to pay for the venue, exactly. has to pay advertising, has to pay for flyers, right. has to do all that stuff. So if you're spending 10 15 $25 or whatever the case may right. be to perform, that's not... Making their pockets right, fat. Right, 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 right. That's paying for the venue to allow you to do that. Exactly. And if you was that good where you didn't need practice, right, right. Then why are you even doing and it? And then I'm like, that this. gives you practice because you're not, you haven't made it yet. And you're right. And then I'm like this with it. Don't get me wrong. They got some promoters out here who really try to scheme and do all that. They know who they are. You know what I'm saying? So do I, they. I personally don't. I personally just go do my shows and get the hell on. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just go do my shows and get get my get my ass on, you know what I mean. So I don't really don't too much, you know, deal with too many of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hating on nobody, man, because I'm far from my hater. But, bro, be honest. Who are you? If you supposed to be, you you feel like you supposed to be getting paid for your shows? Who are you? Right, right. I ain't never heard of you before. And and this say is my name out there though, X. They know who I am, bro. You know what I'm saying? They know who I am. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, they got people that. The, 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 the promoters know who they are, bro, and you and you wrong for that because you actually got a good artist that really is talented. That really someday in the future, the dude finna get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like I see some artists like that that's finna start getting paid, man. You know what I'm saying? And I and I, hey man, much love to them because I support them. I really do. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of artists out here that's finna start getting paid, man. I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know because I'm making this. I'm making this right now, and it's all about consistency. Once you do consistency, at the end of that shit, bro, you're gonna start getting paid, bro. Just stay consistent. You're gonna start getting paid. You know what I'm saying? You, but once you say, hey, man, oh, man, I need to start getting paid, now you starting to get a little big head. Starting to get a little big head. Now you're not, now you not really respecting the game. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect the game, bro. You gotta put some money in the pot, and then some money gonna come out, bro. You so, feel me? did you have something to say, Ed? Yeah, Go ahead, go ahead, step to the mic. Step up, baby. Don't step be shy, up. man. You ain't shy, man. Come on, step to the mic. I'll, I'll let you make it till later if you want to. Nah, nah, man. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, uh, some, some, it, it, it's a business. You know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't nothing less. And that's what we lose sight of. We do, you do it for so long, 10, 12 years. You feel me? Like, it's a sign, it's a sign, it's a sign error. And then they get brushed back down right. to the down, down. Right. On, like, it don't start with nobody else paying you or nah. promoter. Nah. You feel me? 
you can check the, you can check the same drug money, the same job money, and right. anything, and really run your run your shit. Right. Like do do what you gotta do for your brain. Right, 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 you know right. I mean? And make some money. You can't you can't expect like and me, I don't charge to perform. Right. I charge to enter that motherfucker. Right, right, right. Because I got capital to make sure you feel right, right, right. I gotta make sure we have a platform. Right. But I'm always offering. You know what I mean? But see, it's people. It, it, it's speak on me. Yeah, but it's the ones that's doing that right there, man. That's gonna. That's the ones that's doing that right there. X. That's gonna. That's gonna. That's the ones that's gonna get the best. Yeah, that's I the know. ones that's gonna just keep. You just gotta keep on going. That's the ones. You know what I'm saying? I, I so, used to have ten I people. see. I see the ones. Don't get me wrong. I see you. No, no. I see. Good, I, see I see. I see. That's why you. That's why you. A lot of people see me. But that's why you fuck with me because you see what you see the movement. You see what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But what promoters really do with X? X, Jason, and K Nate are the three promoters and you. Houston that we have actually sat back and watched right. what they do, right, right. and we stand behind them because, now, don't get me wrong, nobody's perfect, we're not even perfect, right, you know, right, right, shit's right, going right. to happen, but at the end of the day, if X didn't care about the artist, right. he wouldn't be giving them money back at the end of the night, first right. and foremost, right, right, second right. of all, he produces a badass flyer for them, right. second of all, his house is always full, right. and on top of that, you know, he I'm has right distribution, radio, all of that other stuff, on, on and he's, and he's right an now. artist. Right, so what right. better promoter to work with right. than somebody who's an artist first because they know what the artists go through, they know what the artist needs, right. and they really, truly care about the artist. Right. I can say this 100% for sure. Every promoter is going to have haters. Every oh, yeah. one of oh, them. Yeah. Most Every radio station is going to have haters. But They're those artists. haters are hating on They're artists. Oh, those haters are hating because right. they're jealous of right. the movement that they're making. Right. We would not stand behind these three promoters if we didn't believe in them and the artists that right. they represent. Right, right, right. Now, that's not to say that they all don't have issues with each other. That's fine, too, because at the end of the day, if we all came together and worked together instead right. of fighting each other, right. Houston would blow up like Atlanta. Right. And, 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 and man, look, this is right. the thing. This is the thing with that. This is the thing. Like, I don't understand why, why, what is, what is the hating all about, bro? <laughs> I've always been like this. This is what I've always. This is how I grew up. Okay. Instead of hating on that man because he got a, a car, a nice rims, and all this stuff right there, bro. Go ask that man how he did it. They tell that man put you on, man. Hey, put me on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to hate on this dude. You know what I'm self. saying? And, right. and, and I, like, like right now, check this out. It, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all right now. This drip sport shit, bro, it, it, it didn't really, it really, it changed me as a person. Because it now, I have to, I, I have to actually, because I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really, look, Malcolm, bro, I've been doing, this, I've been doing this, these shows for a long time. Way before I even got, it's, even X, no, I've been doing these shows before I even got drip sport. I wouldn't even dress for it, you know what I'm saying? So when I got into it, what it did, what it did was, it made me have to deal with other people. You feel what I'm saying? So I know about the promoting part because when we did that show the other over that dress for show, bro, I damn near went crazy, bro. Cause I was like, damn, how these motherfuckers do this shit? And I was this just shit, telling you, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this shit crazy. How they do this shit? Yeah. But you know what? It was a learning experience. Exactly. And I'm glad I went through it. Exactly. Because now I know how to do this shit. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And then like. Drill Squad, bro, that's why I say we are about a movement, man. Like, we trying to change all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? We trying to change all of that. Just like with Drill Squad, right? Right. That's why I, I'm going to tell you why I work by myself. Because I don't know I want to believe in me more than I believe in me. Right. Right, 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 right. 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 So, so once once you're doing something, once you're doing something, and somebody see more folk right. gaining more fame, gaining right. more money, gaining right. more noticeability. Not right. That's when it. That's when it's. So it's problem with it, with, with Houston artists and people as right. a, as just people. You for me to start right. with themselves. If you don't got faith that Malcolm and Lisa gonna speak highly on your name, right, who right. thought that is? Shit, that's mine. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't give them nothing to speak you highly on you. You feel me? Yeah. Cause you you ain't you just doing your job. Right, if you right, do right. your job right, what right. rarities you got? Right. And that's the no thing. Way. That's the thing. See, like that's why. When, however you put yourself in this business at the very beginning, bro, it's how people gonna look at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you come in here salty, if you come in, if you come into this thing salty, man, people gonna look at you salty. Man, I can go anywhere, any club, bro. People know, hey, man, this nigga more for a solid dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I actually want to see artists blow up. Right. I always tell my, I always tell the artists that in, 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 that they in Drift Squad, cause me and Tink, me and Tinker Bell, man. Oh, uh, shouts out to Tinker Bell, man. She good people, man. I love her to death. She like my sister, bro. You know what I'm saying? We try to tell these people, man, hey, look, bro, 
only we can't we can't we can't help you blow up. You gotta help yourself. Right. Now we 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 get behind you all the way. You gotta have consistency. You gotta be in this thing. You gotta. Be, this is what what you want. This is what you gotta want. And if this is what you want, you gotta invest in yourself. Right. Watch this, man. You never put something into a business. I ain't never seen nobody start a business off with no money. No. I haven't. No. If they have, they lucky. So if I'm putting money into going to go perform, I don't mind. Hey man, look man, I know you. I've been a rapper for thirty years. I don't know if they people know this, but I'm forty. I'm I'm gonna be forty four years old. Okay, I've been doing this for a long time. It's just that back in the days, we used to have to pop our trunk to sell our CDs. Yeah. We didn't have internet and all yeah. that stuff right there. We didn't have, uh, you yeah. know, social media and stuff like right. that. We didn't right. have none of that, Malcolm. Right. So if you really want to know what it, I would have been blown up, but let's run that back. Let's run that back. The reason why I didn't. Hold up. Hold we ain't got no support. Paul. Paul. <laughs> yeah, no support. Who stopped you from selling out the trunk? Shoot. Man, I was selling out the trunk. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Who stopped you from selling out the trunk, though? Shoot, Lord. <laughs> How? For so real, man? How? I'm just saying, though, but you see what I'm saying? Right, right. We go back on you like, the world made you be like, damn, they ain't doing this no more. Right, right. You can't blame nobody but yourself. But, but, but the thing yeah. is, when I start finding out about social media and how to push you stuff, and they, man, I have to do this thing, because you know, a lot of stuff you got to teach yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to you come back to do it. Do you see a Lamborghini commercial on TV? Nah. Do you, you see a Exactly. Never seen one in my life. Exactly, bro. Well, that's why keep I say push, like, yeah, keep, keep you push. don't gotta have like. Right. I know the 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 age. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's why I know the I know the. You know what I'm and saying? Then, and this is the thing. Let me tell you something. At least like right now. And I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna add that side right I've been sober for four years. Hmm. I mean, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do nothing. And 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 God has blessed me to be able to do what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? My mama always told me, man. It ain't no age, age limit on following your dream. Right. right yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, because at first when I came back to the rap game, I was like, man, I'm too old to be doing this. Then I started thinking about it. Hey, bro, I love what I do. This is my dream. But do you know when you're too old to do it? Shoot, when you feel When like you're that? trying to do something from the 80s and 90s that nobody else is doing anymore, you have to adapt to these th this year. Yep. You know, that, this that, but watch this. Also, Miss Lisa, I'm going to agree with you to a certain extent on that. I'm going to agree with you like, Cause I listen to these young cats, and I'm like, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I love some of them. Some of them, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Right. But hey, that's what they doing right now. I'm not knocking them. Not hey, but that's what they doing right now. Hey, fine. Cause I'll tell you, you know, music has to evolve. Music has to change. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not finna, sure. I'm not gonna completely change what I what I'm doing. My, you know, how, you know, I'm not gonna change what I've been doing to to suit to suit that. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if I change what I'm doing to suit that, then I'm not being who I'm. I'm not being myself. I'm right. not true to myself, you know what I'm saying? I came up from the slab days. I came up from, you know, when, when, we, when they were sipping syrup and all that. It's not that I do any of that, but I'm just saying that I came up from that, that era, DJ Screw and all that era. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm stuck on that era, but I still got that in me. I, all those people are still in me, you know what so, I'm saying? So, so, so I'm going to ask you again, like X did, in case our listening audience missed it. What made you stop doing the old school things that got other old school artists to the next level. What made you stop? You joked and said the law. I want to know. Now, I, I, I want to hear from you. I was just messing with you when I All said right. the law. But what made me stop doing the old school stuff, man, is that I just got tired, man. I just got tired of, uh, of not. I just got tired of cheating myself. You know what I'm saying? Cheat myself. I cheat myself out of, out, of, out of what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'm in a radio station talking about my music, something I love doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? With some with some great people. You feel me? Right. I think, I you know think what I'm saying? Time. And, 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 and a lot and that is time, time and, 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 and just me making poor choices. That that could be possible yeah. the times change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Time, right? Yeah, yeah. Any yeah. right, you write a lot of stuff a lot of stuff has changed. You know so what I'm so do you think so do you think times change? Do you think it's better now or do you think it's better how it used to I be? I think it's better how it used after to Trump. be. Oh yeah. I so think I, I think it made a bunch of motherfuckers yeah, lazy. I think I think I think it's better think it's how it used, used to be because that's how it used to be. Because yeah. they why you tell you why? Because boys used stuff. to get out there and hustle for real. Right, right. Now all you gotta do is push a button and your music is on our platform. Yeah. Right. Out there the hustle was different. Right. You know what I'm saying? We used to actually have to go, hey man, hey man, you hey you buy the CD, hey man, you buy the tape, man, you do this. Hey bro, and then you come on with a hundred dollars, that mean hey man, that means 10, 15 people got your music, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the thing is, bro, like, like right now, man, I got my own clothing line, photo rolling, photo rolling wear. I got my own record label because Strip Squad is not about us taking you from what you're doing. If you got your own record label, keep that. 
If you got your own clothing line, keep that. We want you to have all that. Because Grip Squad is not a record label per se right now. Not right now, because we just kind of like, you know, kind of started it up. Right now, it's a movement. A it's, move. about, it's about us helping you get where you need to be. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? With no hating, we don't care where you come from. All we want to do is help you get where you need to be. But a lot of artists don't even brand themselves. So, you know, if you don't want to have a clothing line or, or any kind of uh, line, right. at least brand yourself. And it's, because funny, it's funny you say that. You, I, I'm speaking for myself when I say if I go to a show and even if I like you and you stood out in right. front of the whole crowd, right, right. by the time the show is over, I'm not going to remember your name. Right, right, right. You right. know, I'm not going to go back and watch the whole video again just to get your Instagram. Right, right. So we, we yeah. tell artists all the time, put that on your shirt, you know, hand out cards. Do you know how inexpensive business cards are? I know, I know. And we actually make flyers right. for artists that is like a business card, but they're five by seven. Right. They have the artist likeness on there, their Facebook, their Instagram, their management right, company, right, right. how to contact them, where to download their music. Right, right, right. And all you have to do is hand that out when you're right. out. Exactly. And they don't even invest in something exactly. that small. Yeah. I right. mean, you're talking twenty, maybe forty dollars. You no, know, it's funny you say that because my because because when you say a brand, that's just crazy because <laughs> that's what my shirt says. I have a photo the records I say we a brand because somebody asked me a long time ago man what, what, what is Fola Roller what is what is it and I started thinking yeah really what is it you know what I'm saying if you're not actually branding yourself or putting yourself on a, on a, on a certain type of platform to where everybody be like hey man this dude really doing some things man and people are not gonna look at you and look at you like oh man he's doing that you know what I mean right that, that's what one of the things me and Lisa noticed about the drip squad right you know like she said already, a lot of motherfuckers get on stage, right? And they say their Instagram, right? And they, Spotify, whatever, 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 whatever. But as soon as she, we be full of drink or whatever, yeah. full of weed, whatever we doing. Yeah, man, what that nigga say that name? <laughs> but y'all, the whole time, drip squad, drip yeah. squad, drip yeah. squad. I right. mean, from all over the place. So if if I even if I do forget your name, even if I you don't forget your name, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a yeah. reference point the next morning. Like drip squad, drip squad. Let me let me see what the fuck they right. kept hollering. Right, drip squad all right. motherfucking night. Right. Let me see. I forgot his name, <laughs> but let me look at drip squad. And I'm gonna see. Up. I'm gonna see him doing that goddamn dance. Yeah, that's yeah. that muscle up, man. <laughs> Up, man. Well, then they talk about how many people are in the audience. How many people did you bring with you tonight? If you have all these so-called supporters, where right, are right, they at when right, you're on right, stage right, performing? Right, right. You know, they forget about those, and they're real quick to attack the promoter or yeah, the venue right. because there's nobody in there. And you can clearly see that they're promoting because they got to get people in the building. Right, right. But you don't know who's in the building. So right. one thing that used to really, really make us mad, because we started with showcases, and we got two right. out the door, and on the second one we said, we're not doing this anymore because right. it was before the ra our radio time, and we said, what are we doing for an artist besides giving them a platform? Right, right. We only charge them $20 to perform. Right. We had a nice crowd, right. but at the end of the day, what were we doing for them? Right. Absolutely nothing. We couldn't give them free interviews. We couldn't direct them. And, and over the years, we've done our homework, we've done our research, we've networked our butts off, right, right, and right. now we can I, I offer you something. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's like we'd rather go to somebody else's event right. and be there to, to show support. Yes, everybody right. can go Facebook Live. Right. I get it. But is everybody going to promote your event? Right, right, is, every, right. is everybody going to tag the artist, right. the venue, and the promoter on your performance? Is, right. every, is anybody else in Houston... Gonna send your yeah. music state to state or international and right. put it in over a hundred different groups. Right. Hell no. No, no. Hell no. no. And one thing I woke up and, and, and decided this week is, you know, a, a lot of people have approached us about doing interviews on location. Right. And right. that's great. Right. But number one is too loud. Number two, we're missing the show because we're outside interviewing. Right, people. right, right, right. Number three, how do we get them up here? Right. right. How do we get them up here if we're giving them everything at the at the venue? Right, right. We're not asking for money because right. that's one thing we decided when we started Real Talk 100 Radio Station is we were not going to charge the artists. We were going to give them something for free. Obviously, we have packages that cost. Right, 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 right. But the ge generic bottom line package is 30 to 45 minutes in the studio. Right. And only thing we ask is that you bring a donation to put back into the community with right. the, our Houston Angels. Right. And not only is that allowing us to continue our organization, but it's allowing you as the artist to be seen right. as somebody right. who's also giving back to the community right, right, because right. a lot of artists forget to do that also. Right. And that's what we, that's that's what we talk about. 
that's that's what we're all about. You have to be more than we your have music. To, we have to. We have you to. Be, yeah. Yeah. It's more than music with yeah. me, man. With me personally, me, it's more than music with me. You gotta be more than because the artist. You gotta because be if artist. you're not giving back to the community, the community not gonna support you. Period. Nope. You know what I'm saying? That's just bottom line. You're not gonna get any support. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I need support. I mean, I'll be sitting here lying, saying I don't. I need the support. I need people to be like, hey man, you, you know, hey, we support you. You know what I'm saying? If you sitting here talking about you don't need some support, bro, you you, 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 you really trip. You really playing yourself. Yeah, I'm doing it all by myself. You, you know motherfucking lie. Yeah, you ain't yeah, doing it by care, yourself. I don't care if you Bill Gates. I don't care who you, you are. Right. You and now one of them motherfuckers did it by yourself. <laughs> and you know it feels good no, when man. I go to the, go to my show, man. I start doing my music, you know what I mean, bro? And I actually see people actually rapping my music. You know what I'm saying? That, that must mean I'm doing something. You know what I mean? Yeah. They actually rapping my music and stuff like that. And you right, you right, Miss Lisa, man. Like I always say this right here. Y'all tripping about, and don't get me wrong. Tripping about paying for your slide or whatever like that? Because I've, I've had to promote, so I know how it is. Oh, how you tripping up here? You, okay, I'll tell you what. You you don't want to pay for a slide? Well, help me pay the light bill in this goddamn club. Right. <laughs> what about on my bad? If you're a you feel chef, me? Help me pay the light bill in this motherfucker so we can keep these lights on so you perform. You feel if me? If you're a chef in Houston, though, do you walk into a restaurant expecting a free meal? Hey, you got you. Are you walking in, motherfucker? Y'all got the tools. Y'all got y'all got a light bill. Proceed, proceed. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have your own shit. Proceed, I got the tools. Not to take a word from you, but they can attest, bro. You remember, like three years ago, I wasn't doing this. Right. I was a whole artist. You feel me? Right. I done built the brand. I built my brand on my name and everything. I don't gotta wear no clothes with my name on it. Right. They gonna know me. You right. feel me? I don't went to that level. Right. But look, my whole my whole thing of doing these events, like I I want I ain't wake up in the morning and be like. Did what I'm gonna do. It really fell in my lap, you know what I mean? Right. Because I want I want this shit. Right. So other decisions you make can lead you to what you're really trying to do. You right, feel? right, right, right. So look, you don't never supposed to look at a, a artist as an artist, as a good artist or a bad artist. You're supposed to look at a person as a person. Right. A good person or a bad person. Right, 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 right. right. So I I I'm I'm in the promoter field now, you feel me? So I'm looking at every artist as a what? Person. Right. So right. come. Come and enjoy yourself. This is how I break it down. Nobody never asked me how I feel or why I do this or why I do this. That's why I charge. Right. $20, bro. Come enjoy yourself, bro. If you want to perform, you can. If, if you if you don't, you're not. Right. I don't right. just be buzzing down for folks, though. Yeah, because I'll be doing 45 songs when I go over there to hit you. <laughs> Look. <laughs> he's like, when I hit you up in the thing, what I do? Just send me the flight, y'all. Yeah, send me, send, me, send me a picture. Send me I just send you the flight, y'all. Yeah, yeah. 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 But here's and that's love. That's I'm love. just saying, though. Like, I, don't, I, don't you know what what I, mean? I don't force it down. Right. Nobody dope like that. You know what I'm saying? And, but, I, let, but, and I let fate but take control. But check out It's for the record. You asked me to come, uh, come, hey man, come check you out. Yeah. I'm come check you out, bro. Yeah. And you know I said I want to put this on record, like he did, right? On some artist shit, right? Not on no, not on no promoter. I'm, I'm running this, right? I was like, bro, I got a show. Yeah. Come. But, but that's my point, though. Right. You have big name artists here in Houston that could take these underground artists to a whole nother level, and right. they don't, they don't give a shit about right. these small age right. artists. Right. But you got an artist right here right. That, you know, advice. That, that has put right. his artistry on hold to help other artists. Right. When you're right. when you're mainstream artists that have already made it and have all the connections, right. don't, don't do right. nothing to help you. And that's the thing, Miss Lisa, right there. You just hit it right on the dog. You got uh, that's not the that's not the artist I want to be. Nope. You know what I'm saying? That's not the man. Well, let me listen to your music, little homie. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me see what you got. And if I if if I even if I ain't feeling it or whatever like that, I'm not gonna discourage that person. You know what I'm saying? Keep on doing what you're doing, player. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. Hey man, eventually, because I ain't start doing this shit. When I was start first rapping, I started first rapping. When I was like 12 years old. Shit, I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't no, you know rapper. You know what I'm saying? But as as it started, you know, I started developing my vocabulary and getting better and better. Because I wasn't just the coldest person. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we start. I start realizing I could write when I was about 13, 14. Yo, man, I can write this down and start. Then you start developing, developing. So I would never discourage a person when I know that person can be hell a hell of a a hell of an artist in the future. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's always said this right here, bro. You knock a person, you knock a person, if you knock a person in the in in the, in the past, bro. They go, it's gonna you gonna pay for it in the future. You know what I'm saying? So you, I don't never want to discourage nobody, bro. I want you to back up for a minute, cause we've had several people chime in, uh, said this and said that, made comments. 
I want you to back up. I want you to reintroduce yourself to our listening audience. Let them know who you are, right. what you do. Let them know all about the Drip Squad. Squad. Let, let them know all of that, man. man. Hey, so they know what we're talking about tonight. It's your boy tonight. Mofo, a.k.a. the photo roller, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight out the Drip Squad. You know what I mean? Hey, y'all, check this out. It's going to be a whole lot of movements going on around here, man. I'm with the Drip Squad. We're doing major things, man. We're making major, major, major moves. Y'all going to see me everywhere. I mean, every 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 venue, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, y'all going to see me, man. What what makes your movement different than anybody else's in Houston right now? Because we more supportive, period. You we're sure? going to support you. We're going to try to support you. We're going to try. Look, I'm going to get you. I'm going to put you in the studio. These, because a lot of these artists, they can't afford stuff, Miss Lisa. They can't afford nothing. Bro, I ain't the richest person in the world, but if a little dude want to get in the studio, I'm going to pay that, man. Because you part of the drip squad, I'm going to pay that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, we want to see you come up. We not, like I said, it's not about music all the time. It's about, hell, man, October come. We're going to support breast cancer, breast cancer awareness. Okay. Kids with autism. Okay. We plan on going to go feed the homeless. And, um, you know, if it get cold, we're going to go hand out blankets. You know what I'm saying? This is not just rappers rapping and all about themselves like we talked about earlier. This is about, it's about, all right, it's, this is about showing showing these rappers that we, showing the people that, that's, that's doing music, that it ain't all about that, man. You know, like, I, like I'm going to give you a prime example, man. I really I really look up to that boy, Trey the Truth, because it's not just about music with him. You know what I'm saying? Trey the Truth. Is he, he, he just won a humanity award? What kind of award did he win? He won I some saw kind of, it. I saw it. I can't, award, I can't remember man. which I one it was. Dude because the dude is making major moves. Yes, okay. he That's what we want to do. Oh, well, let me tell well, you my opinion doing. on that. Yes, he's put his music career on hold to do stuff for the city. Right. But. Why is he not doing more for artists? Yes, it's great that he's doing that, all this. That's, for that's the probably city, a question I would have to ask him. What are you doing for other artists? Yeah, that's probably a question we'd have to ask him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you I, know, mean, and, I mean, and that piece of paper that the mayor keeps throwing around, I want to take that piece of paper and shove it down the mayor's throat. Because what right. the hell is that? Right, right. You right. know, we don't what do about, what, what paper we, is this? It's a proclamation. Yeah. It's a proclamation that that today, which is June, July the eighth, eighteenth, right, right, is your day, Mofias Mofo. Now he he hands it out. He hands it out to make people feel nice, feel good about themselves. Okay. You know, and give them give give them bragging right trade A and all that. But but in actuality. What is it doing to strengthen the community? Yeah. It, it is it is making people feel good about right, themselves. Right, right, now. right, right. See, but, that's, that's what I like. That's what I like about y'all. Y'all see, y'all see, y'all see, y'all see things in different right, different perspectives. And don't you know get me wrong. It's good to get a pat on the back and be told right. that you're doing something good. But, yeah, but yeah. he picks and chooses who he gives them days to. Right. And that money that you're spending on wasting all these hours to right. have the the party or whatever right, to bring right. them in to do the announcement the, the right. money that it costs to make the certificate and all that other stuff right. could be put into the homeless right. the veterans that need your help sex crimes right. sex trafficking right. the missing kids that are here in houston use that money for something different right. you can still pat somebody in the back without it being a whole day yeah. we've been doing this for seven years right. and if they ever called us to tell us that we've earned the day i don't want it can i be honest take with that you? money and put it into the organization yeah, can i be honest with you Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I don't care about no cameras. If I'm doing something for the community, I don't need no cameras around me. I don't need nobody to. Oh, look at what Mofo doing. He 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 feeding the homeless. Nah, bro. I don't need no cameras around you me. You don't need it. But let me tell you, know you know something. Saying? You're gonna get a lot more respect from your followers and from your fans when yeah. they know that you care more about just your music. Yeah, yeah. We want to know that. that you have a family. Yeah, we want to know that you're on vacation. I want to know that you can cook. Right, right. You know, I'm gonna follow you more if I know you on a more personal level right, than I know right. just your music. I because agree with I you. Because I can that. listen to your music every day for a month, and then you know what? I'm not gonna listen to it no more right. because I'm tired of listening to it. But I, but if you got online and you cooked with your family every right, night, right, guess right, what? Right. Every night, I'm tuning in. Yeah, I want to see this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. you may not want cameras around you, but your your people, the people that follow you, need to know that right. you actually care about the community. And you're, that you're right. You're right. I'm only saying that to say this, Miss Lisa. Like, cause some people do stuff. We like, oh, I'm doing this. That's what. That's the only thing I'm saying about that about that part. You know what I mean? Cause people like to be like, oh, oh look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But it's not about that with me. I call it look integrity. 
Integrity is doing, you know what it is, doing stuff what I have really here, doing it not the kind of you know, right? I right. be like, oh man, I'll put the camera over, man. I'm finna go do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, okay, if they catch me with the cameras and, and they catch me doing something, that's fine and dandy. I ain't got no problem with that. But me personally, be like, oh, put the camera on me. Look what I'm doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, we, it's not it's not about that with me. I want people to, I want to make, I like to see people happy. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. I like to see people happy, right? Yes, that's sir. That's why we do, that's why, that's why I do what I do with the drill squad shit, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we we a movement. We want to see people there you achieve. Go. There you go. Explain the drip squad to, to, to our achieve. listening audience. We want people to see. We want to see people achieve, man. It's okay. not about just one individual person. We got you. Everybody in the drip squad helps each other do something. Everybody everybody got a part. Demi God got a part. You know what I'm saying? Team Team. She CEO. I'm CEO. You know what I'm saying? We got some new members that, that just joined the drip squad. You know what I'm saying? We got people from all over. We got Goonie. We got Goonie Goo. Just two times in Drip Squad. We got people that from different states, man. We got that boy, we got that boy J Bone in the Drip Squad, you know what I'm saying? Different states, man. Doing yeah. different things. And everybody in the Drip Squad is like about the same thing, bro. We all about, hey man, what you mean? Hey look, we a family mountain. Look, if one of us needs something, bro, yes. we're gonna make sure you got it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna hey man, hey, well, such, such need that, this, that's man. what family's such, supposed such to be. This, you know what I'm saying? Such such need this, man. How we gonna get it to him? Man, we breaking our backs trying to help. Right. Help trying to get something. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not all about uh, who's who's better. I always tell I always tell the artists. You know what I'm saying? I say my. I'll never say my artist. Right. I always tell the artist. Right. I always tell the artist, bro. If I'm sitting at the round table, and we eating steak, and I'm eating steak, you eating steak too. If I'm driving around, and I got a Bentley. You got a Bentley too. Unless you want a Ferrari. Or you want a, or you want a Larry Gator. That man say, unless you want a Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing the same thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about who's better than who's better than one another. It's about who can help each other achieve where they want to be at. Exactly. That's what it's about, man. It's exactly. supporting each other is Support. what the Drift Squad does. Yeah. He's giving you an overview of the names. He's giving you an overview of the movement. Let them know a little bit about your performances, which, where you have performed, uh -huh. and where you will be performing. Man, soon. Um, I, I got. I, I tell you this. I got. I perform at the Lux. I perform at uh, uh, Fire Flare Lounge. I perform tonight. Actually, I got a performance at this. What's the, the gate? Gate. I think it's two aces. Isn't it? Oh, two aces. Yeah, two aces. Two aces. Oh. Two aces. Um, we got. Uh, I performed it, man. I performed so many places. I don't even remember all of them, man. I performed. I got three shows set up just. This man, I got three shows right now. I got one tonight. I got one tomorrow at the Fire Flare Lounge. I got another one um, that DJ A Leaf. Shout out to DJ A Leaf. That DJ A Leaf, he want me to be special guest. You know what I'm saying? They see, they see me now, Malcolm. They see. They you. see me now, man. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's appreciative. I love it. I love the love. They see me now. And I also we got a we got a uh, we got something coming up on the September 11th. Remember the drip squad event we had? Yes. We got another drip squad event coming up on the 11th at the look at that um at uh getaway with Miss with Lady Nate. Yeah, yeah. The getaway with Lady Nate. And shouts out to Lady Nate, man. She's awesome. You know what I'm saying? Very awesome person. I love her to death. You know what I'm saying? She 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 she's she making moves out here too. And that's the thing, bro. I love that, man. I love to see everybody making moves. Yes. Instead of everybody hating on somebody. You know what I'm saying? They don't make I no sense, man. They don't make moves, no sense. Man. Man, don't make no I sense whatsoever. It. I well, love they, they hate on her because she's taking artists outside of Houston and, and they're not. And she's and she a beast. Is, and she's, she's a beast. You and know not what I'm being an artist herself, she truly cares about hey. the artist. And if you look at her artist, yeah. her artist, her badass. Hey, Boss Lady Nicole, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boss Lady, yeah, yeah. Boss Lady doing some things, man. I love Boss Lady. That's my baby right there. Like, she, 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 she don't have artists, though. Right? Yeah, she don't have artists, but yeah. she does. She does. She, yeah, she, she holds the venue. She holds the venue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She is the fair fire flare now. She yeah. doing big things, man. Like, like, a lot of people is doing big things, man. You I know love. what I'm saying? So I, I can't see why a person would want to hate on somebody Jealous. doing big things, bro. You, you, well, do what I'm doing. Yeah. Go out there and do what I'm doing. Stop stop hating on me and do what I'm doing. But I, like, I always say my music. I need a thousand more haters before I walk out the door. A thousand. What I told you, Malcolm. If you, you, tell me the, you tell me the same thing all about. Everybody love you, bro. You doing uh -huh. something wrong. Well, see, well, see, my thing is, my thing is, my thing is, is I don't mind. I didn't had haters. I played football. I ran track. Right. Very popular in high school. Right. I always had haters. Yeah, yeah. But at least justify. Why you hate? You hate me. Right. Justify it. Let me know and I'll probably, I'll probably be like, okay, okay, touche, I, touche. Right. Because <laughs> I didn't, because I didn't have. Do what they're doing and then come back and tell us right. later that they're doing something wrong because they don't understand the business concept of it. Right. 
you know, and, and the best promoter, like I said earlier, the best promoter to get with is a promoter that's an artist first because they've right. been there, done that. Right, 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 right. And it's, don't it's, get me wrong. I think artists should get paid for, the, for what they do. Don't get me wrong. I if really they're good. Do. Uh, now, 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 if we, you're good. Now, we, had, we had this conversation. I, get, I think you should get paid, but who are you? We, That's the question. We had this conversation. You know was it last night right. on Sky's show? And and she told us what they do in other states. So without you knowing that information, I want to ask you. Yeah. How? And I told you what we want to do right. as a station. Right. We want to sponsor these events, and we want to sponsor. We want to give you twenty five thousand dollars work on your next project. Right. Right. When you win grand prize, we want to do that. Right. But before we get to that point, how do you see a venue, a promoter? A radio station or whoever, how, how, where? Let me let me rephrase. Right. Where is the funding supposed to come from to pay you guys? That's a good question. That's a good question. I'm just I'm just asking. I'm not putting. I'm not that's a trying question. to trying to trap you in, no, into no, no, an no, answer. No, that's a very good question. I want to know as a radio station owner how to do it. Now I know one way to do it. Right. I want to know from your standpoint how would you do it if you were in my position? Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what I'm doing. Keep doing what you're doing right now. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you one thing I know for sure, Malcolm, that I see out of, out of, y'all, out of, out of Real Talk 100, out of Real Talk 100, y'all are making major moves right now. I see you. Thank you. People are watching you. You know that, right? Yes, sir. You know that? Yes, sir. People are watching that, me. You know why that, you, right? Why you think I walk around with my chest stuck out all the time? Mine do, too. Why you? Yeah. yeah. Well, look, people are watching you. You know that, right? Yes, sir. You know, um, do you know people are watching? People are watching me. You know that, right? Yes, sir. People are watching what we're doing. And if you keep doing what Malcolm and Lisa are supposed to be doing, what y'all doing right now, let me tell you something, man. It's a higher power that I believe in. It's, it's like God, Jesus Christ. And I believe he say you doing stuff, you see you doing stuff that you're supposed to be doing right now, and, and y'all ain't trying to screw nobody over. Bro, you can be charging people to do interviews. Sure could. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a man want to do your interview, go on and get your own out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you, you know, you know I'm finna do start doing big things. You know what I'm saying? And y'all see, y'all got the eye for talent, bro. Y'all see. That's why when you came to the that's why when you came to the to the to the venue, bro, and you asked me, hey man, you don't mind if I put the sign up with, with respect, with respect. Right. Hell, nah, I don't mind. Nah, I don't mind. You want me to tell you why? Because I know y'all doing big things. And if I pat your back, you're gonna pat mine. Yes, sir. In the end it of the day, it don't matter where you at or what you're doing. You're gonna pat my back. Yes, sir. Because you already asked me several times, man, where you gonna be performing at? Right. Or what you gonna be you gonna it? And I know you're gonna come support because you already can't support Drip Squad that night. Right. You said you was gonna come. Yes, sir. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep supporting. Keep supporting. Keep showing this, love. Watch this. And somebody gonna be like, you know what, bro? We wanna sponsor you, man. Somebody be. You think you it's gonna you think it's gonna be that easy? Somebody be, uh man. somebody on our live feed also said the same thing. I know and, it's gonna be that easy. And and I did say it already. Her name is Lady Dimples. She said we need investors. Yes, ma'am. I've been working on it. Uh, Lisa's been working on it. Right. We're trying. We're trying to put out the effort. We're trying to put out the effort every day, right. 365 days a year. We're trying to figure out how. And you, I'm, whether I'm, it's, I'm trying to figure out how do we, you know what, we're, we're going to help you look into that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put some looking into for you, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can bump into a couple of people. We got some, we got some actually some brokers right now that want to that wanted, that wanted, that wanted get with us. I got to go meet with them tomorrow. Right, you know what I'm saying, and um, I'm gonna ask him about it, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can see if we try to get some stuff happen. Let's do that. And, and, and our, we already have the template written up. Right, right. I already right. have yeah, the template written know, up man, um, to send the email. Yeah, you never know, man. I because, got a lot of stuff on my plate, but hey, man, I'm always willing to try right. to help somebody do something. You know what I mean? It's all about money, man. Like right. I told you, off our man, it's all about money, man. Uh, I hate, you know, I hate to 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 to, to bring up other artists, and I ain't gonna bring them up. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. The, the Beyonce's, right. you got Beyonce, you got Travis Scott, right. you got people who have left H Town right. and blown up. And they forgot and, about and, and, and a lot of people, uh, I'll, let, I'll let you hit on that subject in a yeah. minute, but a lot of people think, oh, they, that's why they blew up. Right, right. Nah, mm -hmm. they blew up because somebody put some money right. behind them, right. whether, whether, right. whether right. it was Mr. and Mrs. Knowles right. or Coca Cola right. or McDonald's for Travis Scott. Right. They put that money behind them. That's the name of the game. I hate to, to break people's hearts, but that's the name of the game, man. It's right. not that Travis Scott is more is more talented than Mo Fire is Mo for. Right, 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 right. Bullshit. Right. I, I listen to his music all the time. Right. He's not more talented than any other artist that we support on this circuit. Right. He had money behind him. Right. So Real Talk 100 Radio, and I'm going to put this on the record, Real Talk 100 Radio is looking into 
sponsors as we speak because we want to be the person right. that puts that money in your hands and says, Mofias Mofo or, or whoever, right. here's $25,000 for winning this showcase. Put this on your project and blow the fuck up. Hey, That's hey, what we're trying to do. Y'all heard Malcolm, man. Hey, look, check this out, man. Y'all, let's get them some sponsors, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they good people. They need sponsors, man. So y'all start looking. Y'all tap in with MoFo, man. Let me know if y'all find any sponsors or something that want to help these cats cat out because they need it, man. They deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, they really do. You know what I mean? So hey, y'all tap in with me, man. If y'all know any sponsors that want to put something behind them and help them get help them help, help them help us. Help them help us. We artists and we want to make, we making good music out here. We doing things out here, man. Y'all see our movement. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it ain't nothing but love. You feel me? Show some love, man. Houston needs to, Houston needs to show more love. All That's the, the time. Thing. All the time. You know what I'm saying? All the time. Because look, I tell you what. Mark my words when I say this. If I was to blow up, which I am blowing up. If I was to blow up, see, I would come and help people like you. Man, here, man. Hey, bro, look. He go hundred thousand, man. Go on there and do something with that. Bring somebody you else. You're gonna miss that hundred thousand if you fucking Beyonce or something like that. You're gonna nah. miss that hundred thousand, bro. And I'm not mad at him because some people just don't do what we would do. Right. You know, some people don't come from the trenches like we come from. You feel me? Some people just don't come from this shit. You know what I mean? If we ain't really came from the trenches, bro, you ain't gonna you, you ain't gonna go back to the trenches and help other people get out of. It. You know what I'm saying? You just right. ain't gonna do that because you. Now your head and got to the point where you're like, oh, I'm better. I got what I need now. Fuck everybody else. You Fuck know what everybody saying? else. Yeah, and bro, that's, and that's, that's, that's that not, bullshit. That's, that's not good. That's bro. that bullshit. That's not good. You got to you know bring somebody else up the ladder with you, man. Right, right, right. Man. Always, right. always. And check this out. And this, this is related to in a in a in a indirect manner. Right. This is related to the hate subject that we already discussed. Right. At Real Talk 100 Radio, I ain't no hate. Right. We want this. We're not. We're not. Trying to alienate other radio stations. Right, 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 right. right. We want to work with all of them. Hey, right. let's work together to get these sponsors. Exactly. They don't want to work with us. They don't want to work with us. No, nah, we're going to do this ourselves. No, why? No, nah, why? Nah, you can't do like, it yourself. No, why? Because they feel like they, 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 we don't need you. Right. When, when they're so dumb, it's just like with the artists. Hey, bro, let me work. Let's work together. Oh, no, nah, man, I'm already doing my thing. Damn, bro, that's why people come and ask me to do songs with them, bro. Hey, they ask me to do songs with them, send me the beat. Right. I could be charging them, though, Malcolm. You could. You heard me. You heard me. Miss Lisa, y'all seen me perform already. I could be charging them. I could be an asshole and charge you, man. Right. But I'm not going to do that because I know that if my, my me on the track, me on the track can help you blow up. Exactly. And if I can help you blow up, bro, you, I wouldn't give a damn if you made a thousand million dollars off that track. I helped you out, bro. Because one thing I know for sure, I know how I feel not to have. And I know how I feel to have. Right. I'm cool either way. I'm gonna survive either way. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know I'm gonna survive either way. I survive come from, with a fish. Bro, I come from. I come from. I'm from Baytown. In Baytown, McNair, Bear Station. I don't know you heard all these places. Yes, McNair, sir. Bear Station. That's the slums, man. Okay. It's the slums. So okay. it's the people out there. We ain't had shit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we grew up not having shit. But then we we know how I feel to have too. But we always hustle. You feel what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. When a person ain't got a, my mom always say, bro, when a person ain't got a hustle for what they want somebody to give it to them, they don't, they don't they respect don't, it they as don't much. They don't appreciate that. They don't appreciate it as much as if they had to work for that shit. It came you know too saying? easy. That's why, when, where I'm at right now, where my rap career is going right now, I came all the way, because people that, people that know me, man, they know I've been rapping for a long time, man. So, when I, I'm, I'm right here right now. I'm almost, I'm almost right here. You know what I'm saying? But I stay humble. I stay prayed up. Cause I know at any moment, God can take all this away from me, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Take, people, he can take your breath out of yeah, you. Yeah, people tend to forget that, Malcolm. Mm -hmm. They tend to forget that. They tend to forget, oh, I was in the trenches a long time. I was in the fucking gutter a little while back. Now I'm, I'm better than them. I'm sure I'm better than everybody else. And now they don't want to help people like you right. and people like me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because they better than you now. You know what I'm saying? And, and, that's and, why. That's why. And they ain't. They ain't. They ain't. They, they, you, you and, and, and shit I, like I do. Your shit still stink. You still, put on your, you still put on your shoes and your feet, <laughs> your, your clothes, just like I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send you a video. I'm gonna send you a video. Right. I post it, but I think Facebook don't want me to be successful, man. Don't want me and Lisa to be successful. Don't want Real Talk 100 Radio to be successful, man, because they block a lot of our shit. Right, right. I got five thousand motherfucking friends, and don't nobody like it. Don't, don't nobody, nobody share. Shit. Don't, don't nobody do none of that. Nobody do none of that. But shit. I think it's the algorithm thing. I don't think nobody hating. I think it's the algorithm thing, man, because somebody told me, man, I didn't even see that video. But, but I'm gonna say, send it say, to you. They say Facebook only posts like a hundred, only a hundred of your friends see it. See that? See that's that? That's what they say. That's some bullshit right there. Yeah. But I'm gonna send you this video. Right. And, and this is what I said in the video two years ago. Right. And I'm still, we, we're still working on this right now. 
we're still working on trying to form some kind of network in right. in the city in the in the, in the city limits, right, right, right. city limits of Houston, Texas. But we have radio stations. Right. I said stations. Plural. Right. 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 I right, said right. radio stations. Right. Um. 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 um publicists, music publicists, um, independent magazines. Right. We're trying to form a network with with uh, music promoters. Right. Everybody needs to be on the same plane. Right. right. When it comes to pushing this music. Right. Well, how about the drift party being involved there with you? How and about we, how about we help you out? That that would be that would be lovely. How about we back you up be behind you on that? That would be lovely. That would be lovely. Right. But but the thing is, is we're still missing pieces to the puzzle. We still gotta have the promoters on our team. Right, right, right. We still gotta have the other radio stations on our team. Right. So that's the problem we're in right now. That's the crutch we're in right now because we're like, damn, and we got we got this so piece what of the puzzle. Have you reached out to? All of them. Every last wow. one of them had got an email from me, man, and said, "Man, let's do this. Let's do working. this because because let's do this because for the last how long, 15, 20, 30 years, right. we've been doing it this way, where that radio station's over there, that music promoter's over there, right, that right. radio station's over there doing their own thing, right. and that is making that's doing what? That's making our artists say." Damn, I got a lead to blow up. Right. Because cause that station doing their own thing, this producer doing their own thing, this uh, promoter doing their own thing, that magazine over there, I don't know what they're doing. They got right. fruit and they ma magazine right. every right. month right. of the week. Right. Right. They're not promoting me. They're not interested in promoting me. So the, we're missing those pieces of the puzzle. Right. So, man, I don't know how to bring, we don't know how to bring everybody together and make them see that, okay, motherfucker, this, this shit ain't been working for 20 years, man. Right, right, this right, separation right. shit ain't right, been working for it 20 ain't, years. Man. It, ain't, it ain't been so, working. So we need to go in a different direction. Lisa has something to say. I said we are working with Hush Radio, and we plan on doing a lot together. Yes, you talking to me? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she cool as hell. We're going to do radio runs and stuff with her. And she right. has the same vision, and she... Is the he she is the person right. underneath GMT Radio that right, helped right. us get our start. So right, uh, and she truly cares about me. Yeah, she's good people, man. Hush Radio, yeah, she's good people, man. Shouts out to Hush Radio. You know what I'm saying? She real good people. They interviewed my squad. I I didn't get to interview, but I met her already. But I didn't get to interview the interview because I, I don't know what, what was going on there. Had some I was doing or whatever. But uh, uh, um, Tink Tink, she went to go interview over there at, um, at Hush Radio. So Miss B, she's making moves. That's what I'm saying. Bro, y'all, y'all gotta understand. See, look, people are what you just sit. Sometimes you gotta step back for a minute and analyze shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I truly believe. Mark my words when I tell you this. I truly believe, bro. You finna get. You finna. You finna be blessed overwhelmingly. Uh, Watch what I'm telling you. We think People so like, too. man, that boy Mofo did say that shit. You we, know th what I'm saying? we we think so too. We never I know, we I never give up hope. We never looking up. We never. I support you. Stop looking under. Thank you. We never stop looking under rocks right. that don't even need to be looked under. We're still looking up under them to figure out how. Um, I, I got a couple. Uh, I, I got a couple comments on my live feed. Lady Dimples is chiming in. She said the promoters don't want to get on with the movement because they want the money and the money only. That's what she said. She said she laughed at you. She said she's she blogs. She blogs and the old heads see her shit. So right. bloggers. Vloggers, all of these people need to come together. Need right. no respect is what uh, Afro producer said. Af Afi producer thirty three says right. no respect if they don't hustle and can't even appreciate it. No respect whatsoever. No um, respect for who the producer. Uh, uh, Baytime the slums. Yeah. Lady, Lady Dimple says Baytime yeah. the slums. Right. Why yeah. she said she's wondering why you call Baytown the slum? Because we it's, we grimy as grimy out there, man. I, I come from Baytown, so I know. Not talking about the people. Okay. I'm just talking about where we come from. Okay. It's it's hard. You know what I'm saying, man? You got man, you got people like Baytown, man. They 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 they, they man. We, we got talent out there. I got man. I got man. I used to be down with this. We call ourselves the Double O Click. You know what I'm saying? Everyone in that click head. We we come from man. I'm telling you, listen. What I'm saying these boo these dudes. Got lyrics, talent. You know what I'm saying? Super duper talent. But we, it was no support. Okay. My city had no support. They wouldn't support us. All right. You know what I'm saying? You got Mister. You got Mister. You got you got Mister. Mister Heat. You know, and the whole they, they whole little clique. You had Faith and Fam. You know, you never heard of these people because they never. They never well, why do support you them. think? Why do you think the community of Baytown would not support them? I, I personally don't even know, man. Did I they, personally don't know, man. Did they do? Did they do like we've been talking about here today? Did they get out in the community? Did they work with the community hand in hand? Did they do all these things to ingratiate the community? Remember, we we talked about it before. You know, I can't actually say they did. 
That might be the problem. I can't actually say they did. I don't. I don't. I don't personally. You know, I personally don't know because I wasn't around all the dudes like that. I mean, I know. I just know of them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Good people. You know okay. what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, man. We, we got some. We got some good people in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Like people that you know, real good people. But because people just all about self, right? You know what I mean? Not saying. Not saying. You know. You know. Don't do your thing. But when you all about self, bro, like the community overlooks you. Community, they're not even worried about you. But don't get me wrong. You got people that are from back there, like hooking them with SM, SMG. You know what I'm saying? They SME. They they they. They was doing some things, you know what I'm saying? I even see Hook them fucking throwing fucking um, um, parties and shit all at the park and shit. So, you know, they were doing stuff for the community, you know what I'm saying? There you go. You know, you know I've seen I've seen some of the people do, you know, stuff for the community and stuff like that. But, damn, that wasn't even enough for the motherfuckers to support them. And they had some hard hitters over there at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? You know, they had some hard hitters over there, you know what I mean? So, for them not to get support, it was just like, you know, the dude, the dude was doing, doing a lot of stuff for people, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen stuff that different people, even Barry Station. You know what I'm saying? There's, they got some dudes out there that they don't fucking call. You know what I'm saying? So it it it, it was about it's not it, it was just about people support, man. Support, support, support. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you ain't got no support, man, you really ain't finna move nowhere. You ain't finna move you finna nowhere. Go nowhere, man. Nowhere. And you that's and support is meaning bodies or financial, correct? Correct. Correct. You gotta have both of them to make moves, man. You have to. That's the way we think here at Real Talk 100 Radio. Let's switch gears one time. Let's switch gears one time. I got to make fun of you, man. And I got to introduce that damn dance you do on stage. The muscle up. To our listening audience right yeah, now. Yeah, that's that muscle up. The muscle up, man. <laughs> Can you give a live feed an example of the dance right now? If you're not, hey. if you're listening to us on our link tonight, hey. <laughs> you're going to miss out. But I got it posted all over Instagram and Facebook. Show our listening audience right quick a little sample you, of the muscle, muscle up. up? Yes, sir. I give y'all the muscle up real quick. Can you play some music? Let's yeah. take a quick break. Hey, yeah. When the music comes on, yeah. we're going to do the muscle, muscle up in this motherfucker. No I need, I hey. need, I need. Oh, hey, and I don't be dancing, but that's my <laughs> Hey, that's, 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 that's dance, though. You know Listening audience, he has, a, he has a signature dance he does yeah. when he's on stage. Yeah. It's called the muscle up. We're yeah. going to play one of his songs right now. And he's going to do the muscle I up for a live you audience. That, uh, if you want to go to up. our Instagram, yeah. our Instagram at Real Talk 100 Radio. If you want to go to our Facebook at, at Real Talk 100 Radio or After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa, go check it out. Go check it out. Here comes the muscle up. And what song are we going to play right now? That's Bust It Up right there. Bust It Up yeah. is up next by Mophias Mofo. And we're going to ask him about that goddamn name in just a few minutes. But right now, it's all about him and his music. Let's get to it, Lisa. I never lay 
this nigga, and we don't tattle tail. I rip for OBT, I fuck with Magnell. This for these roster boys, rude boy, dread halves. Then run up in your shit if you niggas take it there. You niggas did it that end, my would be full of addicts. I'm on some state street shit, watch out for federalists. Shots out your CHP, what's up the Northwood? I'm on my LP shit, that shit just sound good. I know the okay, okay, that old condition black. With my second stomping grounds, right across the tracks. Shots out to Big James, shots out to SK. If y'all don't know that, I'm from the dirty bay. I want my muscle up. Muscle up, everybody, by Mofo. Mofias, Mofo, man. We're gonna get to that name in just a minute. Welcome to the After Dark Amalgam Releases Show. Welcome back to the After Dark with Malcolm Lee Show. This is a special edition of the After Dark with Malcolm Lee Show on Real Talk 100 Radio. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, tonight we're talking to Mophias Mofo, and I hope y'all got to... Mo- I'm sorry, I'm saying his name wrong. <laughs> Mophias. Yeah. Mophias <laughs> Mofo. Man, why ain't you been correcting me on that? I've been hey, calling man, him Mophias, man. man. Hey, you know, man, I ain't got all kind of names. Mophias. 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 Mafias, all that kind of, but it's Mofias. Mofias, Mofias. How, how you got that name, man? How I got that name, how how I got that name? and let me let me explain something to you, so so everybody you know, because this needs to be this needs to be known. If you go back to my my music ten years ago, I got a, I got a, ten fifteen years ago, I got a, I got a, I got, a, I got a, videos out right now. You know what I'm saying? Ten years ago, because somebody asked me, oh man, you 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 you, you know there was Mo three and you Mo four. No, bro, I've been Mo four. I didn't I didn't even know who Mo three was about till about three years ago. Okay. Two or three years ago, and he was cool. Dude was cold, you know what I'm saying. I ain't taking taking the tablet, but dude was cold. Yes, but sir. I've always been mofo. You know what I'm saying. The reason why I, I, my name is mofo is because it's short. It's it's the short. It's the shortness of Mofius. Okay. My homeboy Shinestein started calling me mofo out the blue. He like, man, what's up, mofo? I said, why you call me? That? He said, man, it's Mofius, but I don't feel like saying that whole goddamn name. So I'm saying <laughs> mofo. You know what I'm saying? But I get Mofius because down south we say mo down here. Mo close the door. We ride on fold, you know what I'm saying? We, right. we slanged out here. Right. So I actually get Morpheus, check this out. I actually get Morpheus from the Matrix, Morpheus. So you remember Morpheus? On the Matrix. Matrix movie, there yeah. you go. You remember I couldn't Morpheus? call it. Yes. Okay, well I'm Morpheus. Okay. Because down here we say Mo. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and when I got out of prison, because I went to prison in like 2004, and I got out, like two, I did like 11 months ago. That was enough for me, didn't want to go back. You know what I'm saying? Did t- when I got out, I kind of I told myself, man, I'm I metamorphosized. You know what I'm saying? Metamorphosized. You know, I changed. Like, changed. You like a butterfly. Transform. Yeah. Yes, so sir. my homeboy like, yeah, man, that's what's up, bro. He's like, shit, nigga, like you metamorphosized and then blah 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 blah. And I was like, shit. I was like, I, like I went through the matrix or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so we started, start, we start feeling and feeling and around different things and stuff like that. So he like, man, shoot, nigga, won't you call yourself Morpheus? I was like. Oh, shit, that's a good name, bro. I said, but nah, bro, we, we from the South, so what, why ain't me Mophius? Right. He be like, there you go. So I've been having that name since 2004, 2005. You know what I'm saying? So I never even knew who Mo3 was until, like I said, like two or three years, like about two or three years ago. You know what I'm saying? And um, because people have asked me, they be like, man, you know what Mo3, Mo, you trying to be Mo4, me Mo3? Nah, bro. I been mofo. You can look up my. You can go go back and look at some of my videos ten years ago. Right. You know what I'm saying. I been mofo. When I had my grill shop over there, off of, you know, over there off of Greenpoint at the Fleet Market, not Greenpoint, off of a lot of Little York. Remember the Flea Market? Yes. Over there by Little York, they tore it down. They tore it down. Yeah, I had a grill shop over there. I used to do gold grills. Ask about me, man. I been mofo. This okay. back 2007. All you right. know what I'm saying. So I never, I never intended. Oh, he mo three and I mofo. I never intended that. You know what gotcha. I mean? It just that's just how it happened. You gotcha. know what I mean? Gotcha. But yeah. We got, a, phone. we got about 15 minutes left in the okay. show, my man. Right. I want you to let our listening audience know about your upcoming show tonight yeah. and where you're going in your career. Where's the Drip Squad <laughs> going in the upcoming months? I tell you what, man. So, so far, 
I got a show to I got a show tonight right after I leave here. I got a show at Two Aces. Y'all come check me out at my show at Two Aces. And um I got a show tomorrow at uh at Fire Red Flare. And then DJ A Leaf uh uh DJ A Leaf invited me to be special guest at another sh at another uh venue. Man, I, I don't even remember the name of it is. They be they be hitting me so much, Malcolm. They be hitting me up so much, man, to do shows and stuff, bro, to the point where it's like Hey man, I, I don't even know where I be sometimes, you know. Man, but we in the Drip same boat. Drip Squad, we have another. We got an event coming up on the on the twelfth. I mean, eleventh of September. Malcolm, you need to be there on the eleventh of September. That's gonna be at the um, that's gonna be at the Getaway Place. Okay. Um, with Lady Nate. Okay. Good Sep person. September eleventh. September eleventh. All we're right. Supposed to be I think having... we're down for red carpet for that night. Yeah, we supposed to huh? I think we're supposed to do red, red carpet. carpet. Where is that? Uh, we'll be at a, a red carpet interviewing you out on the red carpet okay. in front of the Getaway. Place. Okay. Cool. So we got so we oh, that's cool. So we got um we got that coming up. I think we're gonna have something at the Lux Tavern. They they called the Drip Squad to go over to the Lux Tavern. They want okay. us to go over there. I don't know. We haven't set up a date for that. Me, I got I got my album finna drop probably in another month or so. Mm -hmm. uh, I got an album right now. Y'all go look me up, man. I got an album called I know uh, I know you're mad volume one. It's on all platforms. And then I got another album finna drop. You're still mad volume two. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Finna drop. You know what I'm saying? Cause we making a mad, man. You know I'm making a mad with what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So you know we got that going on. Um, uh, a lot of my artists got a lot of stuff going on. You got Demi God, he got stuff going on. You got you got my boy, uh, my boy uh, um, um, Goonie Goo. He got some stuff. We all finna drop. You finna start seeing a lot of it. You finna start seeing a lot of drip squad, man. Okay. You finna start seeing a lot of shit, man. I got my eyes wide open, you man. Finna I start seeing a lot of shit. I keep my eyes on the streets, man. Right. I'm, I'm trying not to overlook anybody. Real Talk 100 Radio does not overlook anybody, but I have to I have to uh, say a disclaimer right quick. We can't be everywhere. <laughs> I can't be everywhere, so it, of course, naturally, we're going to miss some artists. Now you need two or three of you. Huh? I need two or three of me, and we're working on that. Too. And two or three Miss Leases. Yeah. Two or three Miss Leases. We're or five or six, because I'm a multitasker. And so then they'll work be a whole lot better. Whole, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we would love, it's a lot of shows that go on all over Ace Time, man. Right, right. We know uh, right. we're missing out on a lot of acts, a yeah. lot of artists, and we apologize on right. live, on on uh, on air live right now. Right. We apologize for that. We do our best, but we are working on some crews that, you know, we can hit three stones, uh, excuse me, we can throw three stones in one night. Right. You know, and land in Mo City, land right. at, at, at uh, uh, the getaway place, right. land at uh, where you're going tonight, Two Aces, land right. at Fire and Flood Lounge, right. and we can hit them all at least three spots right. Right. a right. night. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it, what happens a lot of times is is that, you know, it's three shows going on tonight. Right, right. You can't hit all of them. You can't know what I'm saying? You try to, but you try to, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You be trying to hit them all. We try to you hit them all. You know what I'm saying? Because I know... If I had a show, I'd have seen you. I'd have seen you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, 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 I see you. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you you doing what you can do, man. That's why I told you. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Somebody finna, somebody finna see you, bro. You know what I'm saying? They watching you right now, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, Hot Tracks. Uh, you can give him a follow, too. He does a lot in the underground music industry. He's on my live feed right now. Right, right, right. He said, he said, y'all do it. <laughs> He said, y'all do be everywhere, bro. Y'all do. We try, man. You know what I'm saying? We do try. You keep doing what you're doing, bro. Some shit finna happen for y'all, Miss Lisa. I'm telling you. your lips to God's ears. I'm telling you. Some shit finna happen for you, man. We're confident in that. Uh, we're confident in that. It's just, I'm on, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It's taking too It's taking too long, man. Too long. But I do understand. we only been in the game for six years. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's radio stations. And music promoters that's been in the game twenty plus years. Yeah. And you know, we we gotta catch up with them first. We know we're not gonna rush nothing. But let me tell you something though. This is the thing. Anybody can tell you they've been knowing me for a long time. I've been doing I've been rapping twenty five plus years. Bro, I should already be I should already be blowed up right now. In my eyes. Right. But I know it'll take time. You know what I'm saying? Now don't get me wrong, twenty five, thirty years is a long time. Yes, you sir. know, we gotta understand what happened in between that time too, you know. You know, I, I, you know, I, I was on, I, you know, I just overcame my drug habit like four years ago. You know, I've been sober for you. God has been blessing me now. You know what I'm saying? Not that he hadn't been blessing me before, but I'm getting even more. Man, hold on, man. I know this. Hey, y'all. Ah, you got Eric. another Drip Squad member in the house. Hey, Eric. Eric. Uh, in the house, you know you what I'm saying? It's going guys. down, big Drip Squad shit. You know what I'm saying? What's up? All right, bro. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. You ain't late. You just made it. <laughs> Mofi, scoot over just a little bit. I got enough room on right, this right, camera right, to right. catch both of y'all. Come on, right. man. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. Come on. 
Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, man, big, hey look, man, big drip squad shit in the building, man. Oh, Got my boy right here, Eric in the house, you know what I'm drip, saying? Drip. Demigod, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, we in this boy, man. Like, hey, man, we big, we, like I said, we making big moves around here, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Real big moves, man. You know? That's, that is good to hear. We love to hear that. We encourage that. Um, and we support you, man. We support the whole drip squad. Like Lisa, you, like Lisa said earlier, man, a lot of performances we go to don't brand themselves they don't support like they might have a group in the crowd don't right. support each other right. and that's why we gravitate towards towards people like towards groups like y'all right. clicks like y'all right you support each other right for the most part y'all are branding each other right if not materially with your vocals, right. both of them are forms of branding. And the muscle up. And the muscle, that muscle up dance, y'all, if you're listening to us live on air, or if you're listening to us on a live feed, Mac, you gotta, what's up, baby? I'm going to see you at the venue, man. You got to find out what this goddamn uh, muscle up dance is all about. Right, right, right. I need, I need a lesson. I mean, a private lesson. So, because I don't want to be live on air learning that dance. Yeah, I'm going to look one. like a damn fool. Yeah, man. Hey, you might, you might make it go viral, though. Yeah, you might, might make that go viral. <laughs> Do it. TikTok doing the muscle up, y'all. Yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all gotta learn about this muscle up dance, man. You gotta learn about Mophius Mofo. Did I say it right that time? Yeah, you said it absolutely right that time. You gotta learn about the Drip Squad, Mophius right. Mofo. You gotta learn about his music. We've been with him for the past hour, and we're coming down to a conclusion now. Is there anything else you'd like our listening audience to know about you, your music, the Drip Squad, anything? Man, this I'm is gonna say time. this. I'm gonna say this. I just want y'all to be on the lookout, man. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got a lot of we got a lot of things finna happen. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we all about a movement, man. We all about support. We all about seeing artists come up. It's not about us. It's, it's not about me. It's about us. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, like I said, we 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 not only artists, man. We making moves. We trying to, you know, we trying to give back to the community. There you we go. Trying to, we trying to we trying to support other you know other artists. We ain't nobody in the drift squad better than nobody else. Yeah. I might be the CEO, Tink might be the CEO, but in my eyes, we all CEOs. Because if, if you really look at it, anybody can be a boss. You know what I'm saying? Anybody yes, can be a boss. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So you got to want it, man. You got to want You got to go get it. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. Because that's what we doing. We grinding. We grinding. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got Demigod. And we got Demigod. We, got, we just recruited two more new members. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be on the lookout, man, because it, it's, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be... <laughs> Hectic. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, man. But shit, shit been to get real serious because it's been getting real serious real fast, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we got people like you know, we got people like Malcolm and Miss Ed, Miss, Miss Miss Lisa, like man, like they support us. You know, as long as we get the support and love, man, man, we can go anywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? We can go anywhere. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Shots out, shots out, to Tink Tink, man. I know you couldn't be here, baby. Shots out, to Tink Tink. Shouts out to the whole Drip Squad. I don't Drip like, Squad. I don't there they go. Like, I don't hey. feel like naming all you motherfuckers. Cause there they go. I don't if feel you. like naming you motherfuckers. But y'all know who y'all is. We love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, hey, we finna make some major moves, man. Big Drip Squad. Drip Squad. If you happen to forget this interview, and you happen to be out in Houston somewhere or somewhere else in another state, <laughs> and you don't, you forget completely about Mophias Mofo. Boy, you better say my name right. Uh, I mean Mophias Mofo. <laughs> I'm sorry. And no, man, because he said he's just, I always he mess it up. He said Mophias, Mophias. <laughs> I've been messing with him. I say, well, Enrique. <laughs> said, and that's why I do it. That's why I do it. <laughs> that's why I do it. You heard, yeah, man. You heard from. Uh, you heard all about Mophias Mofo. You heard about the Drip Squad. Yep. You heard about his moves, his upcoming Big moves. Squad. But as I was saying, before I hand the microphone over to his partner in crime, one of his partners in crime, if you forget this interview and you don't remember Drip Squad, I guarantee you, if you're in a club one night at a birthday party or just <laughs> dancing with your girlfriends or your, or your homeboy or with your mate, your significant other, you going to hear Drip Squad hit it from Squad. You're going to hear that. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it all night long. And that's what we love. That's one of the things we love about the Drip Squad. They support each other. When one is on the stage, the whole oh, clique is hollering Drip Squad. Yeah. Drip Squad. And you're going to say, God yeah. damn, I heard, I heard that at Real Talk 100 Radio. I'm not one line. I'm telling you, I'm right. not lying. Right. I'm not lying at all. Mophius, man, it's been a pleasure, man. I appreciate you, man. Make it's sure y'all come check me out, man. Tonight uh -huh. at Two Aces, it's going to motherfucker me down, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't heard me, y'all going to hear about the drill squad, y'all going to hear about the photo roller, man. Y'all be ready, man. 
<laughs> that is at so it's on the 28th when the whole drift squad will be in the drip, building. Drip, drip, squad. Drip, drip. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, man. I can't hey, man, thank you enough. You, Malcolm, man. I love you, Miss Lisa, man. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. No problem. For real, for real. Let's get the hand the microphone over. The interview has concluded, but I, I didn't yeah. know Eric hey, was showing awesome up boy. tonight. Yeah. This yeah. is what it's no, about. No, you no, see, no, no. I actually heard for he the first from time. Austin, bro. Yeah. Austin. He came yeah. from Austin. I'm late because I, I had to give my kids a grandmother. So. He came from fucking Austin. But, uh, yeah, that's love. Yeah. He came from fucking Austin. That's love. So if that ain't support, man, I don't know what. That's three hours. I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah. That's love. This man. What it's that's, about. that's love. That's, that's love. love. We're introducing you now to Eric. That's what the name he goes by. That's his stage yeah. name. Demi God. There the Demi God. We saw this I guy mean. perform for the first time. <laughs> we saw this guy perform for the first time about a month ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah about a month ago. And he blew us away. His yeah. energy is yes. out of this world. Yes. Best Eric. energy we've seen in a long time. Best energy. Eric. You know who you need to perform with? Juicy motherfucking juice. Have you ever heard that name yeah, before? She's a, 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 a girl, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, both of you have the same energy. Cracker. Yeah, Juicy, I heard, I heard already. She, she got a song. She got, she got a song with what's that? That yeah. girl Nasty? Yeah. Uh, with, a, uh, with a crate? Uh, I can't that remember. That girl Nasty put my thumb in the butt. Something like that. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> she, she has your energy. That you crate. two together, crate oil, man. man. I fuck with Crate. Yeah, she a firecracker, man. All over All over the stage. Uh, brands herself well, right, right. Full of energy. She, that's what I like. She gonna be very, all out. Like, she gonna be all out like in the audience. That's what I like. All of that. That's what I like. Dope. And she's yes. one of them hard working artists. Yes, yes. yeah, that's hard what I like. working artists. I'm a, a, we're Facebook friends now, huh? Yes, ma'am. So I'm a connected to of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Do that. Definitely. Eric is his name, the demigod, is here. He drove all the way from Austin, Texas to support his fellow Drip Squad member. We don't Drip have squad. squad. There it is again. <laughs> we don't have long, man. We got to get yeah. out of here. But I'm going to give you the next 13 or so minutes, man, to talk about you, talk about the Drip Squad, and talk about that that never-ending energy you show on the stage, my man. All right, definitely. Uh, so my name is Eric. I've been rebranded demigod. So it's now Demi God Eric. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for, for tuning in, showing love to Drip Squad, showing love to my Brody here. Already. Um, nah, man, seriously, uh, Drip Squad is, they, they pretty much saw, they came to see one of my friends perform. Mm -hmm. And, and um, I just so happened to be performing at the same time. Um, he's not here now, I am. So it's kind of like, I kind of gravitated towards it. You didn't replace that man, did you? Nah, you I know. wouldn't say I replaced him. I, I, I just know I'm being missed. I, nah, you good. Hey, this is demigod right here. See, now Eric is gone. Uh, <laughs> nah, I, I didn't replace him. He replaced himself. He couldn't handle the fire when it's hard. So right. it was a rival between two artists, myself and him. He was being messy. Um, he wanted to sh outshine everybody on Drip Squad, including myself. And he, he just he wasn't a it player. I got so you. when it came down to it, I said, okay, well, you think that you're better than me and everybody on Drift Squad, so when it comes down to the show that we had, I said, bring your energy and we're going to see who puts on a better show. Well, he backed out three times. Backed out. Um, and then, yeah, so, I That's mean. That's serious. Yeah. yeah we but, fell in love with him, though. We fell in love with Demi God because, I mean, do you see the energy? I ain't really got to tell you. I just, I just, <laughs> I, I like that the fact they let me be me. Because when I first started doing music, I'm not going to lie, all of my music was kiddie. Like, I would not curse. I wouldn't do nothing. I was, But I, I was never happy with it. Right. Like, my music, you could put on Mr. Rogers' house. That's the type of music I was doing. So, but then once I broke that barrier and I just started being mean, not caring what people saying, saying whatever the hell I want to say, and then Demigod became Demigod. And the more I started hearing it and the more people started resonating towards Demigod, the more I started enjoying who I was and the fact that I wasn't hiding and holding back. Gotcha. Drip Squad actually gave me a platform right. to come in, be who the fuck I want right, to be, and right, I haven't had right. one person say, even, don't get me wrong, I'll be saying some off-the-wall shit in our group chats, and I know some of them be like, okay, but they be like, they let they let me be me. Right, right. You see right, what I'm saying? Right. So, and I respect that, and I like that, and, my, and the more I'm around them, the more my energy grows, right. and that's what happened at the show. I have never, now I've been performing since I was 13. I have never had a group of people. I know it. They haven't. That was their first time seeing me. I'm finishing your like, sentence. I know. <laughs> and they like my energy was off. If the whole crowd was asleep, Drip Squad itself, just the whole night hearing Drip Squad, that that damn chant when I was performing is all I kept saying in my damn head. I wasn't even saying Goku like I wanted to say it. 
it was just more of a, a family that was on stage with her. Right. If I fuck up, they fuck up, but they don't care. Right, don't no, show sure And no. so it was free, it was, it was, it was no judgment. Nope. It was like literally fuck performing in front of millions of people. Like if I would if I could redo that night, I would redo that night. Right. Because You're talking about Fire and Flare? Oh, Fire and Flare, yes. Okay. Fire and Flare. Because even though that was Grip Squad's first show, that show set the tone for anybody else who stepped foot in that bitch. Right. Man. You know y'all lit that bitch like, up too, man. Yeah. yeah man. Y'all lit it up, man. So if you missed that performance crazy. by not only Mophius Mofo. But this man here we're talking to right now and several other artists, man, y'all missed a hell of a performance. I'm not going to bullshit you. Man, they did their thing that night. They supported each other. They branded each other verbally, physically, uh, materially. They, they, it was love all over the building. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just had no, to put the two okay. cents in. No, you're first and fine. Uh, I didn't sleep at all that night, literally. I got up, I was up the rest of the yeah, night. Your ass was calling and then I, I called him at 5 in the morning. Yeah. I'm like, bro. We need to do something. What's that? Like, my adrenaline was so, so up that when I tried to calm down, like, my chest hurt. Like, that's how bad, like, I needed to be on another stage. And right. I, I haven't felt that since I was 17. Right. Because, and since I've got with them, it was just, you know, it was all love. You it's haven't like, felt the love since you were 17. I think that's And how what, old are you now? I'm, ooh, you going to do that to me. Hey, uh, ladies, cover y'all ears. <laughs> hey, hold on, before y'all cover y'all ears, I'm 21. <laughs> now I cover y'all ears. <laughs> All right. I'm 30. 30? Yes. Ain't nothing 30. wrong with being 30, oh, man. Oh, no, it ain't nothing wrong with me, but everybody swear that I'm under that. That means, that means you, you're wiser than you used to be if you're 30. Instead of 21. That's what that means. Man, don't be shamed. Of 30, man. <laughs> Scream it to the... I, I told everybody. He's 30, y'all. 30. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Um, you good, brother? Uh, I, I'm going to give you a couple messages. Uh, the yeah. Drip Squad is tuned in on our live feed. We have Tink. We have hey, Jamie. 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 Hey, we, Tink, Tink. Uh, Juicy Baby. You know, we represent for the Drip Squad. Drip Squad. <laughs> Brittany Bishop just clogged in. Hey, yeah, what's up? That's my nigga, man. Y'all be, hey, look. Y'all be looking out for Brittany, man. Oh, yeah. Be looking out for Brittany. But be looking out for uh, Lady Bishop, man. She, her and Armani Monroe is the coldest female artist in Houston right now to me. To me. You know what I'm saying? I love her to death, man. So y'all be looking yeah. out for her, man, because, hey. She hot as a fucking firecracker, man. And uh, we'll go on a motherfucking mile. <laughs> for real. Like, she, 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 she. Y'all be looking out for her, man. Okay. Uh, look, we'll be looking out. I've been supporting uh, Queen Lady Bishop, man. Yeah, for at least cold. At least six years. She disappeared, man. Yeah, man. She, uh, you there know, for she, a minute. She had got, you know, she had got, I don't want to put a beard business out there, but things happened with her or whatever like that. And she's back. Right. She's back, she's back, and she's back more motherfucking stronger than ever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes. So y'all be ready, y'all be looking out for her. She's back. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Uh, give a couple mentions before I get a microphone back to the demigod, y'all. Uh, Tanique says, we love you, demigod, and in, in, uh, Eric. Hey, love you too. Um, Tink also says, that's what our team does. We come from states, city, and cities. And right. our team is about dedication, she right. says. Right, uh, She gave a shout-out. She screamed it just like she screamed it right along with y'all. Drip Squad! Drip Squad! Uh, they all scream it. And they, and they laughed at us all when we did it. <laughs> uh, that's all they've said so far. They'll probably chime in again. Demigod Enrique is silly as hell, is what Tink just said, the last comment. I just want to let y'all know what your team is saying right, about right, you. Right, right, right. One more comment. Hot Tracks is tuned in on Instagram. He's a music producer. He's asking, do y'all need a producer? Would y'all like to work with a producer, a different producer sure. than you already have? Sure. I sure. will tag Tell you. Tag, yeah, tag me. Tag me in on it. Um, in my, on my, on my, on my face. You on Facebook? No, he's on Instagram okay. right now. You, on, you got my Instagram. You got yes. my Instagram. So yes. Tag I'm, me on the Instagram with him. Tell him, hell yeah, we, we wouldn't have worked with anybody. I am tagging you. You are tagged, sir. Uh, in his comment, we okay. have several people on here. Nobody's talking to me. But that's all right. I got a lot of love on the screen. As long right. as y'all are liking the show, welcome to the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show. This is a special edition of the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show. We usually do the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show every Monday night and Wednesday night where we showcase underground music artists and we showcase small businesses in the greater, greater Houston and surrounding areas. Tonight is a special edition of the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show where our guests Schedules did not meet up with ours on Mondays and Wednesdays, so we scheduled them tonight. We've been with Mofius Mofo, 
for the last hour, for the first hour, and now his teammate, one of his squad members from the Drip Squad, drove all the way down from Austin to, to show some love and support tonight on his upcoming show at Two Aces later on when he leaves here. And he also showed up to show support to this interview. So right now we're going to get the microphone to him and let him end this interview. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this special edition Thank of you, the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show. This right here, everybody, is Eric. I, I always want to, naturally, it, <laughs> it flows better, Enrique. So I have to pause and say, this is Eric. Or yeah. I, I will naturally say, say <laughs> yeah, I'll say Enrique, naturally. It just flows. I'm sorry. Everybody, this no is in. Eric. No, I know it. I know it, but I got it right the first time I met him. He was like, I, he got I it right. It. Yes. Don't feel right. bad. I call him Enrique. Enrique. <laughs> and that's why he's walking up here for the car. Anyway, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, I got, like I said, I got rebranded. Uh, if you can't say Eric, I'd rather Demigod since now I went and rebrand all my music, all my, my logos, everything to Demigod. It just sounds a lot more mysterious anyway. Right. right uh, it does. Plus it fits my it fits my persona. It sure does. Uh, it fits my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, no, nah, definitely my boy turning up at two aces tonight. I'm definitely gonna be in. Hopefully, hopefully he may slap me, so y'all who don't like violence, please look away. Hopefully he performed like a little later, because between 10 and 12, I got, I got the studio down here, so um, I'm actually recording Road Rage, which his ass was supposed to have been on. Hey, see, see, see I, I don't want to hear that I try shit. not to look at it. His ass was supposed to have been on. Hey, it don't take me nothing about five Road, minutes to write a whole Hey, I person. told him, hey, so people, check this out. I told, y'all, y'all looking at me? Check it. I sat there and told Mo, right? I said, hey, bro, we got studio tonight. After you do the radio, after you do your show. Can you get to the studio? <laughs> bro. He forgot about you. I'm going to be so nah, tired. Nah, because I got another bro. show tomorrow. I got another show. Okay. Bro, I got shows. Oh, can somebody let this man know there's going to be days once we blow up, he ain't sleeping? Yeah, you right ain't, about ain't that. Gonna, ain't going to be no sleep, huh? You right, right about no that. You right about that. <laughs> you right about that. Anyway, so, you know, I let him make it. I said, right, I got another song for him. But, uh, yeah, it is going to be uh, recorded tonight. It's called Road Ray. It's going to be dope. I actually got Uncle Stacks. New member of Drip Squad. Drip Squad. He gonna come in and bless that hoe. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be dope fire. We're talking energy like a motherfucker. Yeah. Shout out to Uncle Stack. Shout out to Kyle Isaiah Icon. Yeah. They just tagged him. Yeah, uh, see? Uh, 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 Tink just tagged him. Yeah, he uh, that's two of our new members, man. Hey, he was at the last show. Yeah, he was. Yes. He's the one that had the suit on, the pants yes. and stuff like yes. that. He drew, he drew squad now. He's the one I was teasing. And then you remember, uh, then you remember uh, the dude that had the, uh, the uh, Burberry Burberry thing on? He's part of Drift Squad now, too. Okay, okay. Uh, do y'all know of Kenry Green? I keep oh, yeah, you talking that KG. That's KG. Okay, because yeah, I keep seeing that name all up and down. Yeah, it's KG. Okay. He, he, he says salute to hey, the Drift Squad. Tell him I say salute, I got you to that name, okay. I don't know people by their yeah, Facebook right. name, so I'm sorry. I just know y'all by y'all stage Yeah, that's KG. Tell okay. KG, man, big, big, big shots out to him, man. Much love. All yes, right. Man. I'm sure he heard you. Let's get back to Enrique. Yeah! Okay, you know what? <laughs> Enrique! I mean something a little stronger here. Yeah. That's cold. Jack, I Jack. just told myself I messed it off. Cold, I messed cold. it off again. <laughs> Eric, man, I'm sorry, man. Nah, he good, brother. Let's nah. get back to Eric, uh, the demigod. I'm not, I, I won't mess up that demigod part. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about. Let's talk about that right quick, man. Yeah. How did you get named the demigod? All right. So first off, do you really want to answer that? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Uncut. I did. I did a little homework, so I know a little bit. I don't know the whole story though. All right, check. Go ahead. So I went through a dark time, uh, uh, a real dark time. Um, I started messing with candle magic. I started messing with darker forces. Just, you know, I stopped believing in, I, I denounced Christianity. I just pretty much stopped believing in that. Uh, my reason for that was because I prayed thousands of times through jail, through all this kind of crazy stuff, losing my daughter, all this crazy stuff, and God never once showed his face. But yet, I prayed once to the opposite, and then I just had all kind of crazy stuff. And whether it was good or bad, it just started, I can actually see it. Like, how the hell the enemy have no problem showing his face, but then the guy who wants us to pray to him a thousand times a day won't. So that's how I took it. So I said, okay, Bless you. I wanna, I, yeah, I wanna, I wanna rebrand my name. And I was just like, okay, I'm putting Demi God in it. Because first of all, he said he put us on the earth as in his image. So technically we're not humans anyway, we're fucking Demi Gods already, because we're in his image, which okay. is not a God. So I said, okay, I like that, but then at the same time, I still, I, I, 
I, I love the darkness of it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep it Demigod. So I went from Demigod, put it in front of Eric. And I, it, first, it was just supposed to have been a handle for people to easier to find me. But then the more I started making my music, and my music was more hostile, more truthful, more, more like, fuck you in your face. And people started loving it. Like, I had one old school guy come up to me the very first time I performed Goku and said, bro, I stopped game banging 10 years ago. He was a rapper. And it was in Houston at the... Uh, at the at the at the uh, the Ava Center, he said I stopped game banging to, uh, ten years ago, but you performing Goku just made me want to go after every fucking enemy I have, <laughs> and I was like, bro. And so he told me Goku was gonna be the main song for me. And at first I was just like, okay, you capping whatever, but then I started getting uh, requests from Japan, people in Japan, artists in Japan wanting to remix it, and uh, me wanting to uh, work with me. And then I performed two months ago down here at um, at the. Uh, 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 luxury, luxury lab, I want to say Lux, Lux Lounge, Lux, Lounge. Uh, Lux Tavern and it was all Baton Rouge artists and uh, uh, crowds in there and one of the artists came up and said bro, I heard that shit in Baton Rouge it was playing on the radio and I was like bullshit, he pulled it up and he recorded it and it, it was showing sure up, it was circulating down there in Baton Rouge so, and the name of that song was? Goku Goku, Goku. yes, not Roku so, y'all <laughs> Goku, so the whole brand of it is Demigod Goku Energy and what it is is because artists are too sensitive. I feel like if you're a rapper, there's no room for sensitivity at all because you put yourself on that platform. You need tough skin. You got you gotta have tough skin. Mm -hmm. So my branding is Goku Energy. Don't give a fuck. Turn up. That's why all my music is hype, run energy, like in your face music. And some people don't like it. It's cool. But then some people actually come up after shows like uh, at the Fire and Flare Lounge, and I have people actually tell me like, bro, like. You just like your whole performance motivated me to like pretty much call somebody that they've been having beef with and either either squash it or say fuck you like you know yeah. and that's pretty much what it is people let a lot of shit fester yes and then shit hits the fan and then somebody dies when you could have really much just handled that shit right then and there put on some boxing gloves go knock that shit out boom true you know and now somebody lived to to, to talk shit another day but that's pretty much where Demi guy came from it was a dark time and then not to mention people just. Stop calling me Eric, started calling me Demigod. So it just, it, it fits me, the music I do, and I mean, I really just don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> I don't. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I've had people get mad at me because I said, like, they'll ask me, uh, like, for instance, one guy, and I know it sucks, but one of my biggest pet peeves is, like, because I used to struggle with <clears throat> suicide thoughts. One of my biggest pet peeves is fucking rappers using that as clout. And I meet a lot of rappers in Austin who will put that shit on their Facebook. I'm not saying no names, Apollo. Who will put damn. that shit on their Facebook <laughs> and say that he's going through, he, he want to do suicide. No one damn well he's not going to do shit, but it's getting sympathy and empathy from people and likes. And I hate that shit. Right. So, and that's why I really kept Demigod and I kept the dark side of me. I'd rather the dark side of me show because I couldn't say shit that I want to say as Eric. Okay. But Demigod come out and I don't give a fuck what you think. Don't give a fuck what you think, man. I, I have to chime in right quick on something you said. That's cool. Where you had you went through the dark space. My dad is an ordained minister. Mm -hmm. Love my dad to death. Love your daddy if you're listening. I know mom. He probably won't be listening, but Mama <laughs> will. And now that I brought him up, he'll be like, Mom, and he talking about you. He talking about you. So let me bring my my dad up right oh, quick. Yeah. Me and him have had deep conversations about uh, Christianity and religion, and. Uh, it, 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 it relates to what you just said about the dark space and, and, and how the hell is, you know, the man that we're supposed to pray to doesn't show up, but the guy, the devil that everybody's supposed to hate, you, he suddenly appears yeah. and starts, shit starts happening for you. Me and my dad had the same conversation, man. He damn this disowned me. <laughs> because, like I said, he's an ordained minister, but I didn't, I didn't word it the way yeah. you did. I had to come a little more... I had to go around the bushes a little bit I I, because I don't, you know, he's my dad. I don't want him to think I'm being disrespectful. But at the same time, Pop, I'm trying to understand something, man. You know, y'all, you know, I, t I tell him, you know, I, I reference them. I reference, I, I reference my mom and dad all the time. They are God-fearing people. Mm -hmm. They would never, they wouldn't hurt anyone. They wouldn't harm a hair on your head. They would give you the shirt off their back. They're Christians. They have a church. They, you know, support their co their congregation. They do everything they can for the congregation, for the community. They do everything they can. Yeah. Why? Forgive me, Lord. But why are they sick? 
Why is sickness riddling their bodies? Right, right, right. And they are walking in your footsteps. Right, right, Thank right. you. Why? And and he just looked at me. He said, "Son, I don't know what's wrong with you. I didn't raise you this way." And I'm like, "Pop, I'm just trying to understand. Right, it's right. not a disrespect thing. Right, right. I want to understand why. I mean, you, you you tell people to pray. You tell people to walk like the Lord did, talk like the Lord did, and y'all are living examples of what He wants. Right. right. But you're riddled with sickness. Right. What the hell? What right. the, what kind of incentive is that for somebody, some little kid over right. here? I'm listening. What kind of incentive is that for them? Right. To say, okay, I want yeah, that that God fearing family over here is sick, dying, and. <laughs> you know, the bones falling apart. Well, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm just being real. You know no, what I'm saying? I love it. So I'm, 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 I'm following you. Now, he, he didn't talk to me for about a week. Right. But he called me and he said, son, he talked to you. So I went and talked to him. And he said, son, some things, you know, like we say in the streets, some things you can't understand. Some right. things aren't meant to understand. Right. You know, and. Right. I mean, I mean that's, that's, a best a, that's a hell of an answer. I mean, right. you know, you really want some kind of an answer. Right. That's a hell of an answer. Right. And the thing is, man, like, and, and, and I kind of, I kind of, I'm going I'm, to I'm 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 put it into the music perspective. I'll be like this sometimes. You know, God, I mean, you know, and I believe me. I believe in God and Jesus Christ. Let's get that, let's get that, get that out of the way. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe that things happen for a reason. And he puts people in your life for a reason and season and all that good stuff. But then I sometimes think to myself, well, dang, man, I mean, through, you know, uh, why is this person right here came up in the rap game and he don't even know how to appreciate what he what he got? And I can't even come up in the rap game and I'm going I'm to I'm I'm make sure everybody eat. You know what I'm saying? This person ain't even making sure everybody eat. But, man, you know, like I say, it's a time for everything. We may not know what the time is. We may, we may, we may, we may want it to be right now. But, you know, it, it, it happens when it happens. You know what I'm saying? So, <coughs> excuse me, I had to. Just sit back and just say, you know what, God, I'm going to stay humble. I'm going to stay prayed up. And whatever you ready for me to do it, you ready for me to do it. Because then I had to look at the pros and cons. I used to be a drug addict. Now I'm four years sober. You know what I'm saying? He had, so in all these promises that, that he told me when I was when I was in these places, they're coming true now. They're not probably not doing it as fast as I wanted to be because he know what type of nigga I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He know this nigga's a damn fool. You know what I'm saying? I know if I give it to him right now, his ass is going to be tripping. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make his ass work for it. You know what I'm saying? And that's fine. Because I know one thing, like I told you before, people that work for what they got, man, they appreciate it more. Mm -hmm. If you don't work for what you got, your ass is going to be like, ah, oh, I got it. Yeah, man, they gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but I, I, yeah. I just don't think God is like a genie lamp. You just can't rub it. Uh, and yeah, happen, I, you know what I mean. It's, it's something I will never, I probably never will yeah. understand. And I we, we, it's a lot of us won't. And you know, I, but I had to ask. And as a kid, I couldn't ask. That right. was one of the questions I was scared to ask. Right. But now that I'm a man, I'm like, look. <laughs> Remember that motherfucking question I, I asked you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I was yeah. seven? Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know they weren't sick back then. They were they were young and healthy back then. But right. I was looking at members of our church. Mm -hmm. I was looking at members of our church. Who, who were sick and always in the hospital and these are tithers yeah. people who tithe every week people who come to every ceremony right. every, yeah and she in the hospital dying yeah but you know why I'm, I'm a kid going man yeah. what the fuck I understand what? that but this is why they do this is what they do because you know you, you have to go ahead and do all this right now because it's something after this you know what I mean you want to be prepared that's why you got to be prepared for what's after this okay this right here is just Temporary, man. Right. So yeah, it's gonna be sickness, and yeah, it's gonna be all that stuff right there. But you, the people that's going to church and because they know it's almost the end for them. So they trying to be like, man, I gotta get close to him while I can. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's that's basically what that's about. Right. That's how I feel it's worth. I believe you know? in energy, and I stopped believing in. I'm not gonna lie. I stopped believing. My mom gets mad, but I stopped believing because I was born in. I was raised in church since I was two. I stopped believing in all of that when I got kicked out of two churches just for asking. I asked the first pastor. I said. You sit up there and you preach about how God says thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not kill. But yet that same God you just said last Sunday murdered a whole damn civilization for only a few hundred men, a whole hundred peoples. And they got they got pissed off. He got pissed off and said, don't come back to my church. Said, see, Seriously? See, for seeking I understanding. Said, for asking, yeah. For seeking understanding. challenging him. Right. And that's how my dad is. Um, the young lady down here yeah, wants to gonna... ask something. Chime in right quick. Let me put the cameras on her right quick. Go ahead. Intro introduce yourself to our listening audience first. My name is Tiqua Fresh Intent. Um, I'm just, there's a clear difference between spirituality and religion. 
that I think a lot of people get confused with, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, even speaking about your dad, right? There's this line that they don't want you to cross because there's this spirituality versus religion, right? So for you, you went through a spiritual awakening for yourself, and it was something completely different than anybody else has been through because everybody else is following religion, following God, what is wrong, what is, versus you trying to figure out what's going on with you, the universal mind, and trying to be one with the universe. You know what I mean? So it's a difference. That's the reason why you were able to hit a different level of mentality and spirituality because you took religion out of the picture. You know what I mean? That is honestly awesome. the first person. I'm going to be honest. No, I'm going to be honest with you. She verbalized it well. No, no, no. This is the first time I've actually had it's an open open it. conversation. This is the first time. I'm on the screen at? First time <laughs> I actually had, and I, yeah, I'm going to get pissed off at this, but I was able to say what I just said and had a, a positive feedback. feedback from another black person. Most of the time when I'm talking to black people around and they get pissed off about <coughs> it or they stop talking to me like, Right, you know, so it's I not. Really it's not. A, that. It's not about not. It's not about us not wanting to believe. Mm -hmm. You know, I've believed all my life. I just want to understand. I just want to understand. There's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with what it's, I want to understand. But people take it as, no as you're challenging the Bible because you're right. asking questions. Yeah, he told my dad told me never question God. Thank you. That's I, I, I left that out. I know you said that was a hell of an answer, but he right. said, "Son, some things aren't meant to be understood." Never question God. That's right. all you need to live by. And I was like, Why not? You know what like, says in the I'm Bible. I'm a man now. I can understand if I was still six years old. Right, 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 right. Don't right. question authority. But right. I'm grown. I'm 51 now. Yeah, I can so. question whatever the hell I want. Right, right. It right. says right. that to yeah. seek understanding. Right. To ask questions. Right. Let's get back. Let's get back to yeah. Eric. Let's get back to the demigod. We kind of got off off Sorry subject a little it's bit. Okay. It's okay. But I wanted okay. I wanted him to explain his one of his stage names. He right. goes by Eric, which is his his government name, correct? And he also goes by the demigod. And he was just explaining to us where he got that name from. <laughs> That's where we how we got kind of off track. Let's right. get back to you, my man. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to. We know he has to get to the performance, so we want to end this yeah. this uh, interview as quickly as we possibly can. We've already talked about how you guys at the Drip Squad support each other, and if you're on our live feed, you'll see nothing but love and support by Drip Squad. And I'm sure there's Drip Squad. And I'm sure uh, anybody listening to our live feeds, anybody listening to our our on air, uh, listening to us on our website, I'm sure you're. You can't hear their their uh, their support group, but I'm sure their support group is at home right now screaming the same thing. Say it again. Drip squad. Uh, drip squad. Drip, you, drip. You just don't understand. But hey, one of these days you will. Let's get back to er, let's get back to Eric. See how to start again. <laughs> let's get back to Eric and let's end this interview. Eric, we talked about the demigod. We talked about the drip squad. We talked about how you guys support each other. We talked about your energy. We talked about Mophius. And and his energy and his his he even did you missed his dance. Oh, I made I him. To get I, here. I made him get here and dance for me. And I asked him. I told him I'm gonna need a tutorial sooner or later because <laughs> I don't want to make a fool out of myself getting out somewhere and doing that goddamn dance right, right. and don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tutorial coming soon. So let's end let's end the interview by you. I want to make it quick, but I gotta ask you about yeah. one other thing. Number one, that song that you performed at Fire and Flare, where you were on your knees and you were saying, I couldn't understand what the fuck you were saying, but it was something like, bing, 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 bing. I want you to explain that song. I want you to introduce it to our listening audience. And then I want you to tell our listening audience where you're going to be in the next, where the Drift Squad is going to be, where you want the Drift Squad to be in the next five years. Gotcha. All right, so that song was called Danger. Danger. Uh, yes. Okay. And that song was actually asked for me to uh, write it um, it was a small company out of Atlanta. It was a filming company. They wanted a, uh, a soundtrack for, it's called, it was called Hup, Hustle and Dreams, but they uh, heard Goku and they wanted to see if I could make another song that they were looking for a soundtrack on. Um, I told them, yeah. So Danger came in to it and I sent it to them about two and a half, three months ago. And they, came, they got back to me last month and said they liked it and they were actually gonna use it. So look for that to be in. It's called Hustle and Dreams in uh, 2022. So, uh, but it ends at Atlanta. But um, that pretty much danger is signifies me. 
like I'm a, I'm a force to, to, to be afraid of because yes, I have a lot of people who tell me, bro, you weren't like this in high school. You weren't like this in high school. You was walking around wearing suits, okay? You don't know what I've been through since then. And the shit that I've been through, I'm able, whenever I perform Danger and Goku together, <coughs> my energy is fire because it speaks everything that I have. Man, um, he turned that bitch out. He turned <laughs> fire fly out with that song. That's so, why I brought it up. Go ahead. Yeah, now danger. So that's pretty much. I mean, danger, man. It's just it's, I'm a force to be to to worry about. Like you, you, a lot of guys see the black nails, the color hair, and they be like, oh, he gay. That I can't do much shit. Right, like, get right. on the stage when you gonna see. Like, and now that I got Drip Squad with me. Oh, you just magnified me. Right. I went from Goku to now Gogeta, which you know. Right. But um, and as far as Drip Squad, I really want. I know. I wouldn't even say five. I say two years. Right. In two years, we probably won't even get y'all. We're probably flying y'all out to where we're at, somewhere in Dubai or somewhere. Come on with it. That's Hello. our fucking. That's our. That's, Speaking into existence. That's pretty much gonna be our headquarters or somewhere. Right. Come, come on with it. So, I, I hate to interrupt you, no, but I have someone on the live feed that relates to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, we are trying our best to partner up with him. As busy he as he is, and as busy as we are, we're trying to put on a show in Jamaica. He's listening from Jamaica right now. Right. His name is Duca Brown. He runs a, he uh, runs a touring agency okay. in Jamaica, and we fell in love with him. He fell in love with us. He, he was our tour guide in Jamaica. Okay. So we're trying to bridge the gap between Jamaican artists tag me, tag me and American me. artists. Yeah. He also has a show here on Sunday nights called uh, Car Caribbean Breeze. Is he staying in Jamaica? Yeah, yes. he lives in Jamaica. Uh, okay. He's also a DJ Big and shots a producer. Out to you, homie. And he has a Big lot of artists that he works with that will be coming, that will have their music on air. And then we're also just able to send y'all's music to him okay. to right. perform in Jamaica. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah. He'll be on the beach. On Seven Mile Beach. beach. Duca, we got to get to Seven Mile Beach soon, man. Yeah, I want to go to Seven Mile Beach. They'll be on Seven Mile Beach. Hopefully, with a stage on Seven Mile Beach, man. Hey, tag me, tag him, tag, tag him with me, man, so we can, you know, we can uh, try to talk about something, get, you know. Got you. Got you. That's you know. Yeah. Uh, back to Dubai. And, and pretty much, I mean, yeah, man, that's pretty much, I mean, I want, I know we're going to, I know we're going to, um, I know we're gonna flourish. I mean, it's just put us in a. We can go. We can go support another club. We don't even have to perform. Right. But our presence itself lingers there. Right. And I saw that. Right. Uh, I saw that before I even got with them. Like when they came to my show, uh, me and Apollo show was performing, and they were. And it was like what. 400, 300 people there? 400 people there? Yeah, we and it was only four. three of y'all? We had everybody four on the good squad. We four. But they stood out out of all them people. And it was just like a lingering, a, a lingering aroma of drip squad. Like, I would, if it was my, I wouldn't call them drip. They don't leave no fucking drips. They fucking stain when they come through. So stain. Like, the stain squad. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, and that's why I know in two years, night, I don't it's some crazy shit going on, you know? Crazy. Um, and I'm glad I'm, that they're allowing me to be a part of it. And whatever that's awesome. I got to do, man, to make, to earn my keep, like I said, I mean, I'm loyal all the way around. You know, as long as it's back, it's it's reciprocated, and it is. So, um, and see, that's the thing with me. Me, I, for me, I don't feel like like he say he's honored. Me. We feel like it's an honor for him to be with us. You know what I'm saying? That's how we feel in the when, 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 when we we we, we honored to have you in our in our in, you know in a our part presence. Of, yeah, a part of us. You know what I'm saying? So it's that's it's like he talking about. Uh, he go tell me, man, when I become a star, man, wrong wrong answer. You know what I'm saying? You already a star to me, homie. You know what I'm saying? And that's all about encouraging them. You know, encouraging people to, hey, man, you already a star to me, bro. I don't know about you, but you famous to me. I got you. Know I, I keep saying we going to end this interview, <laughs> but y'all keep saying shit that make me want to say something else. Check this out. I got in trouble for that very thing. This 45-minute interview has I, lasted an hour and 48 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right? sorry. Y'all love us. It's the Drip Squad. Drip Squad. I, I got in trouble for that very thing. Right. What you just said about him. Right. You're going to support him like he's already made it, like yeah. he's already a star. Right. Well, I won't mention any names. I don't want to rub anybody wrong, but if they listening, which I know they are, they'll know who I'm talking about. Right. I was simply trying to humble one of our friends. Right. He's one of, let me choose my words right. Right. Uh, so I won't give, divulge too much information here, but he's very talented. Right. He's an entertainer. Not only is he a singer, he's an entertainer. He right. dances, he sings, he's along the likes of your ushers and your, your, right. your right. Michael Jacksons. Okay. He, I, every time I make a post, or Lisa makes a post, right. we make it a point that 
our listening audience knows who we're talking about. So we'll say, you know, if I make a post of this video, I'm going to say um, this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to introduce you to this underground music singer, uh, one of the greatest in Houston. His name is da 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 Right. He gets in my inbox. Malcolm, don't refer to me as no underground music industry. I'm a star. And I was like, Oh boy, you're not a star right, yet, man. Right. I was trying, I was trying to humble him. I wasn't trying right. to bust a bubble or hate. Right. And but he took it wrong, and he's still mad at me. Right. I apologize to you, baby. I was just trying to humble. Right, right, so, right. so what are your thoughts on that? And was I wrong? No, I was just no. I don't think you were wrong. Um, you know, um, you you. I agree 100 what you did. I, I think I think what you did was I, right. I understand where he's coming but, from. But, but if I don't think like, it, I say this, I say I'll never this. get there. Yeah, but I say this. I say this. You are starting me already because to me that's encouraging you to do. You know, keep right. doing more. Right. You know what I mean? And not only that, really, in reality, you really are starting me because, right. man, you know, look at the energy of what your squad bring, bro. We got we got superstars in it. You know, and they and, and it, you, you, you're gonna see it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's a secret. You're gonna see it. You know what I mean? But um, if you keep encouraging these artists, you know, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Some people just ain't superstars. Right. Some people just don't have that superstar status. Yet. You know what I mean? Just be honest. Right. And some people just got it. You know what I mean? You got the if it they, factor. If they got it. I'm gonna let you. Hey, man, you a superstar, to me. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be careful because yeah. you start telling people that you're already a star that I, and again, you get people you get their mindset. Yeah. You get Apollos all over. Mm -hmm. and that's right. pretty much what it is. It's just artists who automatically want to be paid five hundred dollars and they only been performing for six months. You know, they are. But people already told you you're a star. You're gonna blow up, so now you want right. to get paid like that. Right. Right. So I, I I like people to tell me opposite. That's why I always say when they try to say that, I'm like, all right, cool, because I humble myself. Right. Boy, you tell Demi God that shit. And <laughs> <laughs> it's, an it's another story. Yeah. Right. It's another story. Well, thank y'all, gentlemen, for showing up tonight. Thank you for driving all the way hey, from no ATX problem, to support your friend and to get into the studio. Thank you, Mofi. Hey, we love you, Malcolm. Hey, we love you, Miss Lisa. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. thank you so much, man. Uh, y'all stick around for me as I conclude the show. Uh, we have to take a couple pictures, all right? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this special. Drip squad. Drip, drip, drip. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this special edition of After Dark, After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa. Thank you so much. Thank you, Drip Squad, for tuning in on Facebook <coughs> at full tilt. Boy, they was crunk. Wait till y'all see the wait till y'all see the comments. All of them was crunk on on I think this is our Facebook page at After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa. They were crunk tonight. Thank y'all. Everybody in, online on our website that's listening in. Thank everybody that's on social media listening in. Thank y'all so much. This has been a special edition of the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show on Friday night. We usually air on Mondays and Wednesdays from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. But this week we needed a special edition because our schedules did not match up. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank our sponsors. I'll try to remember everybody, but our sponsor list is growing by the day. Thank you so much, sponsors. We don't have the bottle here tonight, but... We are intertwined with a group called, with a excuse me, with a with a vodka called Podrowski Vodka. We wanna we wanna be on the same level with your Grey Gooses. We wanna be there one day. It's we're just a small company right now. We are partnered with that company. We are also partnered with the company that produces this. It's called Dreamline. If you shake it up real pretty, I'm sorry if you're not online right now. Dreamline wine. Look how pretty it is when you shake it up. And everything goes to floating wow. around. We want everybody to be drinking this. We want this in every liquor store around Houston. This is the Dreamline. That's another sponsor. Our other sponsors are Willie Ray's Q Shack, all the way from Iowa. They give us love. They give us support every day of the week. Romani Shoes. Romani Shoes is tired of y'all buying these Jordans and these $200 pair of sneakers. They want you to shop local. They're a local shoe designer right here in Houston, Texas. Check them out at least. Check out their website at Romani Shoes. I will tag it here in a few minutes. Romani Shoes is a sponsor. Lisa, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Please help me out. <laughs> I caught her off guard. If we forgot y'all... We love you. We thank you for all the support. If you would like to sponsor Real Talk 100 Radio, give us a text. Just text sponsor to 936-333-1969. We're coming to an end to tonight. I just had to end it by thanking those who make it possible for us to do what we do every night. What do we do every night? We support small businesses in the greater Houston area. And 
We are the, we support the underground 365 days a year tonight. It was all about the underground tonight. We're going to end this show by playing Mr. Eric, the demigod. We'll see y'all. Peace. Love it, love it, love it, man. Love the energy, man. Knock that stage out tonight. I'm kill it tonight, man, Michael. Knock the stage out every time you Lee. perform. I know Flock of Flair is waiting on you. We're tuning out, y'all. Special edition. After Dr. Malcolm and Lisa show on Real Talk 100. We'll see y'all soon. We'll see y'all soon. We'll see y'all soon. If you would like your own interview to create awareness about your music, about your small business, about your nonprofit, about your events, about the upcoming book you're about to release, all you got to do is text the interview to 936-333-1969. We'll see y'all next week. Peace.